Hello and welcome to the stream. I'm back with more Destiny. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I, I took a deep breath and uh, it was very dry and <coughs> dried up my throat. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and transition here. Hi. Let's get a little bigger. Bing. There we go. That's about good. So, um, it's uh, it's t finally time for the this week in Destiny. Um, <clears throat> I want to go over the, uh, the twid real quick. I feel like my face tracking is a little off right now. That's okay. Um, transition here. Uh, it's going to load. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, man, that's not good. That was very delayed. That was very bad. I don't like that at all. Um, oh, yeah, let me pause the music. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> Just go over the stuff real quick. Save the date. Almost time for all the stuff. Blah, blah, blah. We'll be reprising another raid. Um, I heard about this. The name of the raid is still under wraps. Uh, we did want to make sure that we share the date so you can start making those plans. It's going to be Friday, September 1st, 2023. Uh, a few things to keep in mind. Contest mode will be available for 48 hours. Clearing the raid with contest mode will activate challenge mode. Um, and the secret triumph. Um, completing the secret triumph, which consists of a curated list of challenges that must be completed in challenge mode. Or, or sorry will be how a fire team can snag the world's first title. So same thing um, as before. To enforce the triumph requirements in challenge mode, your fire team will wipe if you fail. Okay, yeah, that's the same as everything else. Nice. Uh, that's cool. Cool. Uh, does the container store offer options for the veil? Asking for Season of Deep. Haha. -ha. Um, let's see. Um, a little too far in one direction made the activity hard to find. Yeah, I didn't even know about it. I heard about it, but I kept not even seeing where it was because I couldn't find it until someone, until literally I saw Bice's video where he pointed out how ridiculously hidden it, it is on the map. Um, far bottom left side of the map, yeah. get multiple entries back to back at your leisure Veil containment will continue being unlocked for the remaining three weeks of season 21 and additional entries will unlock at the start of season 22 and 23 cool uh i don't really know if i care about stuff like this um mm -mm 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 -mm. I could have the robot read all this, but I think I'll pass. And they're talking about their inspiration for it. It's cool and all, but I, I don't think I care. Um, Solstice. Yeah, they don't even have that much to say about Solstice, because there's just nothing to be said about Solstice. At least nothing good. Lots of bad. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, and only partially. Um, Warden's Law. More like Warden's Weeball. Huh? Okay. What? I don't know. Uh, so update. Okay, let's let's have the robot read this. And if it sucks, like if it's way too much, then we'll stop it. When we were looking at weapons, so no, 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 we, no. and now an update from our weapons team. When we were looking at weapons to bring back for Nightfall rewards this season, 
we knew we wanted to do something unique. The Warren's Law hand cannon fit the bill, it was a fun idea from back in the forsaken days that never really caught on with players due to the difficulty in landing both shots from the vertical spread that it fired. So, we thought to hmm. ourselves, how could we I make this gun feel better to use, while maintaining the identity it originally shipped with? We felt the most important thing was to move away from the idea of it firing a spread, which is when multiple shots are fired at the same time with a single I, trigger yeah. pull, think shotguns, and that. to allow it to fire a burst, which is when multiple shots are fired one after the other with a single trigger pull, think pulse rifles. Okay, yeah, the initial version of the new Warden's Law <sighs> pretty much had it becoming a legendary version of Crimson, complete with a three-round burst, but minus the healing on kills. And while that was fun it never felt right, and it also felt like it took something away from Crimson itself. We went through several variants, including a handful that modified the time between the bullets in the burst, <clears throat> before settling on a two-round burst with a slightly longer delay between shots than normal. Normal bursts fire at 900 RPM, this one fires at 600 RPM. Next, we knew we had to tune it to give players a reason to run this over a standard 120 RPM hand cannon, and we also knew we needed to make it feel great to use, while still leaving room for perks and stats to improve it. We spent time focusing on several major parts of the equation, the damage per burst, the PvP time to kill, and the recoil pattern. Because the weapon is harder to use than a normal hand cannon, in that you must hit two shots in a burst with each trigger pull instead of just one, we decided to allow it to do slightly more critical hit damage and kill just a bit faster than something like Igneous Hammer. We utilized the damage profile that aggressive frame hand oh no. cannons had some years back, dealing up to 90 damage per burst against players, 25 per body, 45 per crit. Then we slightly reduced Crete. the burst delay, the time between the bursts themselves, as opposed to the time between shots within a burst, so that it has a slightly faster 0.93s time to kill instead of the standard 1.00s. We were also very careful to tune the recoil pattern in such a way that it felt manageable at a base level, but that still motivated players to utilize perks to improve it. Hmm. The pattern itself is doubly important because the tightness of the burst has a direct impact on how usable the gun is at longer ranges. Since we were allowing the gun to deal more damage and kill more quickly, we did not want it to be able to reach the same maximum ranges as standard 120 hand cannons, so we designed the recoil pattern in such a way that, without manual recoil control and a little bit of help from perks, it would be more difficult to land two crits from the same burst at 35 meters plus, while still maintaining a smooth feel and decent ease of use at closer ranges. Okay. We're really excited for you all to get this revamped weapon into your hands, and we hope you have as much fun shooting it as we are working on it. Let's talk economy, shall we? Yesterday, we shared a... Okay, it's reading a bit further than I wanted it to. Um, okay. That's interesting. I didn't know that they were actually making a new archetype, or at least re-releasing a gun. I never even knew Warden's Law did that. I, I think I've gotten a, a copy of it. Let me tab into Destiny. Uh, real quick. I'm curious, do I actually have um, Warden's Law, or was that the one Forsaken, not Forsaken, uh, what you call it, what you call it, uh, Tangled Shore, Tangled Shore weapon that I couldn't get. Okay, I think I might have actually gotten it. Hold on. No, I didn't, okay. Okay. Hard hitting twin fire rounds. I know you can't read that because my big fat head's in the way, but um, that's what it says. I never did earn this gun. Interesting. I I didn't know about that. I didn't know it had a special uh, burst to it. I just thought it was some random hand cannon from the Tangled Shore. Interesting. Twin fire rounds. So were they saying that it? Um, hmm. Were they saying? that the uh that it was a burst or did it fire like a shotgun the most important thing was to move away from the idea of it firing as a spread so it was a spread it is now going to be a burst which is not something we haven't seen before 
hand uh, sidearms in particular have a long storied history of that. Uh, I mean, when they first came out, there were only a few sidearms. There was uh, pretty much ju just Vestian Dynasty and Dreg's Promise. Uh, Vestian Dynasty being the first one. And it was, you know, single single shot. Uh, but Dreg's Promise was like a weird burst shot thing, you know. And then since then, in Destiny in Destiny 1, there, there were a lot more that were released after that, eventually. Ooh, this one actually looks nice. It's a very standard looking gun. I don't know, something about it I like. In the preview, there's like a little icon there, and there's not one here on the regular. That's so weird. Anyway, that's why I, why I kind of like the preview. I'm like, oh, that's a fun little icon. I don't know, something about that. But it's not even there, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I uh, got distracted. Sidearms have had that, that treatment for a while now, and uh, even pulse rifles have had uh, various archetypes of the burst. So it, it'll be interesting to see it on a hand cannon now. Uh... I don't know if I'll love it. I, I do like, um, you know, I really do like Crimson, actually. I might end up liking this gun, actually. I don't know. If it can, if it can get good perks or if uh, it starts an archetype and one of the guns of the archetype can get some good perks on it uh, that just kind of make it fun to use, I, I think I would really enjoy using it for really anything. Because I like burst weapons because they're, they're um, overall less good, technically. But... Um, they're more forgiving, and I'm not the best shot, right? I like burst weapons. I I'm a fan. Um, I really like pulse rifles. I I and I I love crimson because it reminds me of Red Death, which I loved because it was, you know, it was a healing gun, but I also um loved the burst fire of it, and I'm glad they brought that back in crimson. So it'll be interesting to to see a uh, basically a legendary version of crimson. So. Yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, it, it sounds like they're actually making it slightly better. If you're like within range, it's it could be better, and you land all crits. It's a faster time to kill. But um, than most hand cannons would be at least. And I'm sure once you start getting damage perks in there, um, it's over. You know, you just get like a two shot basically, but it's a burst, so it's like four shot, I guess. I don't know. It's interesting. I'm looking forward to it. We'll see. Um, here's the stuff that they were talking about with uh, the economy stuff. A little some for fans of Dead Man's Tale. There's a little something new included below that you won't find in the article. Okay. So. Post-game, re post-match rewards for Crucible Strikes and Gambit. Weapons coming back in the pools for Crucible Strikes, Gambit, Nightfalls, Iron Banner, and Trials of Osiris. What? It, it doesn't say anything. Oh, it, it's saying this is the recap of the, what they announced. They announced what weapons were coming back. They announced the increased drop rates uh, for ritual weapons upon completion. Um, here's the stuff we looked at the other day. This is the stuff people have been talking about for starting yesterday and a lot today as well. This is the new stuff. Uh, not, not mentioned in the article is that Dead Man's Tale will be added to the loot pool for the exotic mission rotator when presage is available. Okay. So we'll also make Dead Man's Tale craftable. <gasps> what? So get those crafting pants on because it's about time. But like, I like my Dead Man's Tail. Me and that guy go way back. I don't want to craft a new one. Maybe I can craft my old one. You think they'll do that? I really hope they do. I hope they turn they, they let you turn your old one into a craftable. That'd be nice. Because you can craft it or grab it from the exotic mission rotator, this exotic scout rifle won't be part of Zer's wares in twenty in season twenty two. Uh, but it'll be always be parts of our hearts. Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, cool. Cathedral of Dusk, more like Cathedral of Must or not. What? Uh, oh, it's just the vote for which map you want in, uh, Trials. Okay. I, I, I think most people probably want an Anomaly. I think that's 
the one I hear people enjoying the most. I know a lot of people don't like Cathedral of Dusk, and a lot of people also don't like Vostok. I like Vostok. I like Cathedral of Dusk too, but I feel like the spawns need to be fixed. Um, but yeah, it's... I think Anomaly's probably going to win. Um, and if it doesn't, I don't care. <laughs> um, yeah. Huge thank you to Games for Change. Accessibility at Bungie. Okay, cool. So there's um, stuff they're talking about. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we're pretty much done here. Um, kindling armor issue. We are actively investigating a fix for the new issue that has been discovered further along the Solstice Quest chain after 7.1.5.1 went out. Um, this issue has kept the kindling pop-up active for some players and further blocks quest progress when rekindling all armor on one character. Yeah, you should really fix that before the event ends because that's kind of a really, really annoying glitch. I'm just saying. Just just putting that out there. Uh, event card re reminder. The Solstice is currently being live. The Solstice event card is also active. The event card is only accessible during the Solstice event, so players should be able should be sure to claim any completed objectives or, or rewards before the event ends on eight, the 8th. Any unclaimed rewards will no longer be available. Hey, guys. Be sure to spend your money before the date ends. I know you guys are protesting, but like, don't forget, you gotta spend money. Man. Uh, bring a sparrow to a bonfire fight. Beginning next week, you'll be able to sparrow to your heart's content in bonfire. Y'all wanted it, so have fun. Wow, so kind of them. Bringing something back into the game that should have been there from the start, man. Can you imagine? That's crazy. It's crazy. Get a list of known issues. Several solstice items not in collections. Uh, issues for certain graphics cards. Uh, solstice challenge. The hot seat is not progressing from all the Luna activities. Players can still be it by completing the lost sectors or the hyper net current strike. Okay. Certain honored centurions in the gilded precept lost sector are abnormally bright. What? Okay. Due to an issue, we have temporarily disabled the bolstering detonation, focusing strike, impact induction, and momentum transfer armor mods. Okay. It's full list of issues. Um, okay. Some fan art of Gollum as a scribe. It's a wrap. Uh, but we'll have more to chat about. Reminder to drink your water, practice that self-care, and always lead with your kindest foot forward. Until next time, friends. I should go. Okay. Well, that was fun. Um, not really as much as I was hoping there would be. Um, it's cool to hear about Warden's Law. It's an interesting thing. They're adding a new archetype of hand cannon. And they're kind of experimenting with just Warden's Law. So it'll probably be the only one for a little bit. And it might be kind of mediocre, but um, it'll cool. What did I just say? It'll cool? It, it'll be cooler as um, time progresses and we get more rolls. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it'll be better. Who knows? Um, let's go ahead and transition here. Da -da -da. And wait. My game is loaded, actually, so we can just go straight to the game. Let's do that. Da da da. All right. All right. Lastly, let's um, let's get the music going. What's a virus? How you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Just got back from vacation. Welcome back. Where'd you go? Oh, 
Kauai. Ooh, nice. That's not bad. You know, let me try to get the thing done. That's cool, though. It's definitely needed. Getting stressed out or something? Exhausted? What was I gonna do? Oh yeah. Just needed a long break for work. I get you. Yeah, I get that. I get that for sure. That's not the gun I brought over. What the hell? There we go. Upon my return, my second monitor does not want to work anymore, so I'm down to one until I get paid this weekend. Oh, that sucks, man. Hey, you know what? I My mic was being funny the other day. I think the cable was all messed up. But then it just kind of stopped being bad. So, like, I don't know if it's still broken or not. I hope it's alright, man. I almost forgot about that. I guess we'll see if it acts up again. Because it just kind of went back to normal. It's Wavy. What's up, Wavy? Ooh, uh, while you guys are here, if you haven't already, maybe you might have already voted, but um, I have a new poll for all the emotes that I want to add to the channel, and I want people to decide for me what emotes they want to use, because you're going to use them more than I will, so, you know. So feel free to go ahead and vote for that. Okay, there's it's just this one guy. There is a guy here. I really should have something that does more damage than this. It's gonna take an hour to kill this one guy. I don't wanna use my sword ammo, because I'm like, Oh wait, no, there we go. I was gonna say I'm low on it. Bird looking to the left. Um that's bird falling down. Get off me, man. They're body blocking me. I can't move. Just voted. Wavy's looking at the poll. Let's go. Let's go. I've yet to uh, actually contact the uh, the person who does the uh, emotes. Mostly just because they only speak Japanese. 
So like, if I'm gonna send them an email, I have to spend a lot of time <laughs> translating it properly. Um, and uh, I'd rather not send them an email with minimal information on what I want. So the sooner we get all the votes in, the better. Also, I've had this idea uh, for the past few days. Let me. You, get, you guys mind if I uh, if I bounce this off of you? Give me your opinions on uh, what you think of this idea. So I've um, I've been thinking it would be fun if I had like a little contest. What the hell? Get off me! My guy, he's just chasing me. If I had a little contest for um, uh, artists to make art of my character and uh, have a little cash prize. So, spinning fishes this way, right? No, that's single fish. That's pretty much the whole idea. It's just, you know... It would be pretty pretty minimal on the rules, just like... You know... Make some art of my character, my VTuber model. And, uh... Whoever's art I like the most gets, uh, gets the, the prize. I, I wipe? I didn't know it did that. I thought I just respawned like a normal dungeon. What? It wipes you here? Ah, oh, I don't. I don't like this, man. I've. Uh, no wonder I hate this dungeon, man. I hate this dungeon so much. Could be an interesting incentive. Yeah, I mean, like. Okay, so here's here's how I see it, right? I I want more art of my character. I really like my character. I think she's great. Um, and, um, I think it'd be a, a decent, like, publicity stunt that isn't, like, a controversial thing, you know? I'm not, like, you know, advertising anything, like, bad. It's not, it's not bad for the brand, you know, it's just a little, little contest. Oh, jeez. Not that. Can't find the poll. It's in uh, e emote nominations. There's just a link for it. Was it Infinity Snake? Yeah. Where's the door? There's supposed to be like a door on the left here somewhere? Some kind of path? Am I dumb? Oh, jeez. Did I just... All right, well, now I don't have that to actually get around. Where the hell is the door? There's a, isn't there a way to go to the left that isn't shrouded and... Am I dumb? It has been so long since I've actually done this dungeon. Oh, it's on, in here, that's right. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, there goes my melee, I guess. Get out of here. This is dragon, but infinity snakes nearby. There it is. Do 
Yeah, okay, so like, I, I don't know, I, I see I see a lot of positives and not a lot of negatives. I mean, there could be trolls who are like, ah, yeah, I'll make art of your character and then do like NSFW stuff or like something otherwise, like, not good, you know? And because here's the thing is like, it's not just that I want people in the Discord server to make art of my character. It's also just like, I'd, I'd like... I'd like everybody to open up uh, their friends list and spread it around and just be like, hey, this streamer is having an art contest. You could win money if you win the contest, you know? And I could even have it like a, an actual like tournament style thing where it's not just there's one winner. There's like a top three and first place gets the most amount of money, but then second and third place get diminishing returns, but still money, you know? So it gives more, more possibilities of, um, of you know, getting something out of it for the artist. Kissy snakes. Where are kissy snakes? I can't remember. Must be somewhere on the right side. Oh, I think I know where kissy snakes are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know. Put that in the guidelines prior to putting it out. Plus exposure as an artist as well. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't want to sell it as, like, ooh, I'm such a big streamer. Because I'm not, first of all. Um, and I, I don't want to lie to people, you know. But um, I don't want it to be, like, trust me, you'll get exposure for it. But, like, you know, it, even if it becomes, like, a small thing, if it's, like, kind of well-known, then... Um, it could still be a, a decent thing for an artist to be like, hey, I participated in this contest. Even if I didn't win, here's my, um, here's my contribution, my, my thing, my submission, I, I should say. This is not the right way. Hold on. Isn't there also a secret chest in here somewhere? Just a D aside, what the hell? Not even a, a dungeon weapon. But yeah, I mean, like, um, 
not that I'm expecting this to be some like major thing, but like if even like a little bit of word gets around that's you know someone's doing a contest and then you know you say hey here's my submission for the contest then it could get you some attention if you like if someone already knows about the contest then it could get them some submission for sure or some some uh attention for sure and that could be cool i i really like art i'm not very good at art you know I'm a big fan of um, people who can can actually make things, you know? Um, and so any way that I can find to help them out would, would be awesome to me. And I think instead of just, like I'm gonna commission somebody to make the emotes and that's all cool. But like, um, instead of just doing that, um, single fish is over on the right side. Sorry, I'm like way more focused than I need to be because now that I know that if I wipe it completely resets, I'm like, oh, cool. So now I have to be super careful about everything as if I'm doing a flawless run. It's annoying. Oh no. Oy. Okay, that didn't work at all. Please kill. Okay, we're good. What's up, Nem? Ask you a random question about is it about the cat? Not technically my cat's my brother's cat. I just live in the same apartment as my brother. But sure, go ahead. How much does a bag of cat food cost? I don't know. I, I, again, it's not my, my cat, so I don't really take care of it. I would assume it's similar to the cost of a bag of dog food. Not that I would know that either. Because <laughs> I don't have a dog. Because I'm fucking over like 40 quid for cat food. Damn, bro. That sucks. By the way, were you expecting me to say quid, or were you expecting me to say pounds? Yeah, I know British slang. Sometimes. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> I was expecting pounds, I won't lie. I will say, saying quid is way better than saying pounds. Something about it, man. It's just more fun, I think. <laughs> Making bacon at 3.26 in the morning. Gotta love it. It's breakfast at that point, you know? Nothing wrong with that. Man, what is he doing? You see that weird hopping he did? wrong with my life hey man we've all been there three in the morning suddenly they have this obligation to cook something not just eat something but to cook something 
It's like a primal thing. I don't know what it is, man. Sometimes you can't help it at all. Talking to people outside of the UK, people think pounds means pounds. Like, no, like weight, yeah. We're jousting. So many acolyte eyes, what the hell? Calm down, buddy. There we go. Sunlight him up. Hey Neb, did you vote on the poll, by the way? Did you vote on the emote poll? If not, you should. Did you vote uh, for what emote emotes I should get next? There's a, a poll. Uh, P-O-L-L. -L. You might call it something different in England. I'm not too sure. Or the UK. I'm not actually sure where you're from. No, it's poll? Okay, yeah. There's a poll in the uh, emote nominations channel on my Discord. Feedback, all good, all good. Well, now that we're done with that thing that I had to do real quick, um, let's, uh, let's do some uh, vault glass. Titan's been uh, dying to do some vault glass and, uh, I'm down to Sherpa him, especially now that it's the weekly, so. Yo. Hey. All right. Buddy, what a day. Cover your eye. Don't want to hit. Well, the good news is I'm I'll at 18.04.05, depending. Ah, nice. Yeah, and I've been doing the moon missions. Getting that campaign Communion. done. What the? I did that. I don't know if you're actively doing something. You want to come to the moon with me? Yeah, I'll hop in real quick. I just gotta knock out the rest of the lost sectors. I just did logistics. Are you doing that quest line for Xenophage or No no no. I have to do the uh three lost sectors near Archer's line all the way to uh of the crash ship. Mm. Gotcha. But what do I have to do? I have to easy, do bro. Going at 1600? Yeah. He's a he's a new light, and so I've just been showing him stuff. But... Got Assassin's Cal finally, so you can't bully me. <laughs> also 40 spoils from Acreus. Okay, so we got to nice. go Nice, you're almost there. Me, and then we have to go over to... That, was, that brought back some memories doing the uh, nightmare missions. Yeah, it's um the the uh, summoning pit and Stolos and 
Yeah, it's kind of a neat thing. They they brought back some of those characters in that way. Like, I remember doing the summoning pit mission ad nauseum in Destiny yeah. 1. And Stolas as a knight, as a nightfall. <laughs> this guy's username is just Ronald Reagan. I don't know why that's so funny to me. No, no gimmicks, no added things. Not Ronald Reagan's elbow or something. Just Ronald Reagan. It's a great name. Hey, where is this lost sector over here? Bacon hits different at three thirty. Yeah, man, it'll. Am I missing something? Yes, I am. When uh, I've seen Demon Slayer, yes, I actually just recently got caught up. Whoa! Why is there a nightmare here? Yeah, on the moon they're just random nightmares in certain places. I guess this one happened to spawn. It's kind of beefy too. Taking a lot of damage. There we go. Oh, he's got little assistance. So, I have built this melee arc build to be great with these uh, boots. Oh, you got the Dune Marchers on? I did that Lost Sector. Well, I've been doing the Dune, but I've got a nice build to go with it. Gotcha. That is, um... Like, I mean, my punches just chain and chain and chain. Almost like what the Hunters have. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, we gotta go this Jeez, way I, to the I right. Not turn fast sharp enough there. I finally found the build that I really love. I barely use my weapons anymore. <laughs> it, that's such a great point whenever you get to that. <laughs> like I just play. That's literally I press yeah. shift space or shift C and space. Okay. I'm down here. Your professional opinion, what's better, season two or three? I say professional opinion because you're an Where e is ENV tuber. I'll take your word for here. gospel. Let's yes, because I'm... Out. An anime girl, I, I would know uh, what a good anime is. So you should trust my opinion. Uh... Oh, it's over here. He, he's got insurmountable. He just likes Dune Marchers better. So we'll see how long that lasts. But you know, don't help, don't tell him that. Because I am right on it. So my we'll opinion, season out. two don't or three. Worry. I don't know. Season nope, 3 felt I'm like it was kind of it. short. In this. It's somewhere over here. But it had a, a pretty it. simple start start to finish, right? Season 2 was good. I don't think I liked how long it felt a, I, if, if I remember correctly, I think it was a little drawn out. It felt kind of slow. But I think I liked the story more, you know? You know what I mean? So, like, I like the story of Season 2 better, but it was, like, kind of bloated. Like, it went on but a little like longer right than it should have. up here. What the But I, I didn't... But they didn't have that issue for here? third season. I found it. Even if I didn't like the story better. <laughs> yeah, I figured I'd just let you figure it out. You'll find them. Oh, my, my, my. Oh. I am gonna... Come in, like, oh, I've been here before. Damn. I make a lot of orbs now, which is fun. I'll bet. Hey, isn't there... So for the, the one quest I made you start here on the moon with all the puzzles and stuff, uh, it should have you do, like, these lost sectors anyway. So if you're already doing them, 
you could probably uh, tack that on as like an additional thing. I so have. Should... I've been doing a few of these. Get over here. I've been doing a few of these things stacked up like this. Yeah. Oh God. You're the only thing that can slow me down is big boys like that. Tengen versus Gutro fight. You should just Man, like I, I'm really stand bad back and watch me do my thing. Names. I'm no quite more, proud man. with this. Say no more. Like I know who Zenitsu and um, Nezuko and all them. You know, like and Tanjiro and whatever. But like when it comes to even major side characters, I'm like, all right, <laughs> I don't remember. Is that the one uh, Hashira <laughs> that's like uh, he that died basically? Is that the one? And was he versus the guy that was one of the big bad demons? Hashira has three wives. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Okay, that should have been it. Let me double check. Yep, now I just got to go to communion. He didn't die? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I forgot. I was getting those two guys combined in my head. The guy with three wives and the guy who died. But no, they were different guys, weren't they? Yeah, the one guy died in the train arc, and then the other guy die, uh, didn't die, but almost died. And helped to defeat the big bad. And had three wives. I remember now. It's tough, man. Because, like, I don't like rewatching stuff. I assume that my memory is going to, like remember everything but it doesn't so like i don't know i'll i'll watch something and then not want to rewatch it but then i'll watch the next season oh, wow. and i'll be My like what the hell happened i don't thing. remember <laughs> but i Strange. don't want to watch it again resilience that. okay we're good, never mind. Okay, so this is the one that you were saying was like the cool fight. Yeah, I see the pictures. I see you're watching Horimiya. Ooh, one of the Walker public events over by the where we gotta go anyways. So, a great example is Horimiya. I remember really liking that show in the first season. I, mean, I remember watching it and going, I like this. This is nice. And then, like, a year went by. And I'm like, oh, season two. Let me watch season two. And I watched, like, three episodes. And I'm like, I, 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 I think I remember liking this a lot. But, like, I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything about these characters. There are like a few scenes I remember of the main characters, but when it comes to like the side characters, I'm just like, I don't know who these people are. Like, I, I can't remember, man. It's pretty good, to be honest. Not as good as season one. Yeah, I mean, I kind of get that vibe, too. Damn, I, why does it glitch out like this, man? It's so weird. What? Sends thousands of them? thousands of these. <laughs> I know, they're great. I don't want you here, boy. This is my... Also, to make the walker one heroic, uh, you gotta dunk the balls and unlock the scorch cannons. Yeah, and get two walkers. Yeah, and you get two walkers. Holy you! It's intentional? Really? Wait, someone in my chat's saying that it's intentional, apparently. To drop all these. What the hell? Why? 
be funnies. Hey. Give me more. I must punch more. More. Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? Wait, where are you right now? Are you in the lost? I'm circle? in the catch, oh. yeah. In the uh Golos's hidey hole. At least I thought I was, but now I seem to be stuck. I thought this was the lost sector. No, I think you just went into a ship. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm coming back. Oh, no. Gotta remember this nightfall. Such a fun nightfall. Very tricky, too, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was a good one. I kind of hope they start bringing back old nightfalls. Both from Destiny 1 and Destiny 2. They they took out a lot. It would really liven up the, uh, the playlist, you know? Is this a Lost Sector? No, the Lost Sector in this area is, like, way over. Dude, this orb is running so far. The hell? Yeah, it's it's uh over here. I'm trying to think of what you would know this area as. Uh, I just I know that area, the the OG Moon area. Yeah, I just mean like this, like like that area you were just in is Skolas's ship, right? But then like this area over here is I don't know if it's really anything. I can't remember if there are any missions here. But this is where the Lost Sector is. The idea was our weapons got too strong to knock three legs Let off for all orbs. So just Let knock them all off one leg. Oh, I see. I go in. Yeah, I mean, the fact that they took out a bunch of strikes Can't from catch Destiny me. 2. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And also, they didn't, in the first place, they didn't even have the strikes from Destiny they? 1. Just means that we're basically missing out on strikes right now. There could be so much more. Got the, the Makarov right chain, dude. Oh, get over here. I love it. Yeah, the um, Monte Carlo is really good with any melee build these days. It's so fun. The what? Monte Carlo. Oh, I know. It's just so quick to draw. Good. Let me at him. Let him. Let him. You remember Skull Loss and Fogoth making me Come feel here, the way you me and Gears made ball. you feel? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More. Until he finds out about Hammerbonk, man. He's yeah. <laughs> he just doesn't know. Where are you running? Bitch. He really likes Ark, man. I, I've been you know, literally I, just I running through him. like fucking campaign missions all day, utilizing punching. So much fun. It's great. It's the Titan specialty. Run ridiculous punch stuff. Yeah, I haven't even used my linear. Oh, and it gets gets rid of those stealth boys real good <laughs> when I can't quite see them. You. I love it. Oh. You. <laughs> Wear out my fucking C button. I'm just going to watch, man. <laughs> You're having a great time. I am. It's I so much need fun. To be here. No. You. You! You! More. <laughs> there are some exploders, so watch out. 
Uh-huh. Um. Oh, hi. Goodbye. I think they were hoping for that to go a lot longer. Yeah. Well, see, these are lost sectors on the easy difficulty. They do have harder difficulties that add champions and more health to enemies. Oh. Uh, yeah. But okay, the, why are there still so many? Uh. Yeah, this one's weird. It, like, it keeps like spawning more even after the boss dies. It's very strange. Huh. Where's the chest? That way. Where's my loot? Oh, hi. Do do do. Lunar Spelunker complete. Now I can do a campaign mission after a quick little journey back to Eris. Uh, system core vault access complete. Lunar Spelunker. <laughs> Um, bounty to earn a firewall used at the K1 Revelation Lost Sector. So we must go to Sorrow's Harrow Harbor. <clears throat> yes, I know about Bonk, boys. But I like Arc Bonk. Something about Arc Bonk just gets me going different. Seeing that lightning chain everywhere just just hits different. Mm -hmm. They're both good. I've run both. I wish melee or I wish Void had better melee options. It's got the frisbee, but it just doesn't quite hit right. You know, they all have <laughs> that shoulder sure. charge. All the light subclasses have shoulder charge, and that's nice, but like, I don't know. I feel like the Void one, they need to do something about the Frisbee. The tracking on it is also just very bad. Like, it's got a drop to it. It doesn't track very well, and when it ricochets, it still doesn't track very well. So, like, I'm in Sorrow's Harbor, frisbees, so. by the way. Sure, I'll join in. I've never done this before, so it's fun to me. Or where we're going, or what we're about to do. So many to bonk. <laughs> it entirely looks great when I'm typing, really. God, I'm just so hot. That and getting the like building properly with this amplified speed booster is just so nice. Hey, someone just messaged me. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll stay in the call, but I'm gonna go help them with something real quick. Yeah. While you're wrapping this up. I'm good. I'm. Uh, this build I've been running helps with my fears of going into dark places like I've been doing on the moon, especially down into the catacombs. It's so spooky down there, and as a titan, I get scared easily. Oh, never mind. They actually beat it. I guess that was an old message I didn't see. It's my bad. Where the heck? Where do heck? Where is what? my thing? Oh. What the hell? I gotta kill the tormented servant nightmares. Who, who? Mr. Acolyte? Actually, I've got this random thing to do throwing world stuff, so I'm going to go do that real quick. Yeah. I don't think that'll take that long.
seventy-two percent of the way through. It's literally just do patrols in lost sectors and stuff. So shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, void void could be better in a lot of ways. It's actually good for PvP in a lot of ways, though. Like you get the overshield, which is nice, and then you get the bubble, which is ridiculously good. Um, though there are ways to counter bubble these days, so depends on a few things. But hey, where's that patrol beacon? No, oh, there's not one nearby. Mm. I probably have time to do this lost sector and then go do the public event, so let's do that. I know your eavesdropping, not nerds. Nothing brings folks together like a common enemy. You've got a lot of enemies. Watch your butts. How do you get to be a man the mob is lost? T crash play barrage nova bomb stasis and any stasis super king uh, conditional finality two times using shoulder charge. Some of the ways it's countered. Can't forget wither horde. Yes, of course. I would say the hunter super doesn't counter it super well. If the hunter casts it inside, he puts himself at risk of dying before he can get the full cast. But it will kill the titan. Um, but there's a chance that the titan will kill him before he can get you the full cast. You lack something. What do I lack? Am I cracker lacking? You lack something. You're lacking in the cracking, man. I'm looking at Earth through a big red lens, but it says I lack something, and I don't know what I lack. Oh. It's a bunny! Oh. Aww. And it says yeah. I lack something. You need a rice pudding gift to give to the bunny. I want to keep him. I have the mint gift. Yeah, that. that's for the cats on uh, the Dreaming City. Uh huh. Bungie loves their little secret collectible things. Each planet has their own. Well, except for like, I think the EDZ and Nessus and Neomuna. Or no, not Neomuna. Uh, pretty much anything in the Earth. Okay, so. I must. Baby Shark. No, Lectern of Enchantment visited. Necklace scraps. Search for scraps of Simoda's necklace by defeating nightmares on the moon with arc abilities. Well, well, oh, say well, no more. It's, <laughs> it's like made for you. Go Where play, are they? play on your uh, classic Destiny 1 location and uh, use your favorite build. <laughs> that doesn't sound like you at all, man. No, no, no. What do you have to do? Exactly what you've been doing. Oh, okay. Do I have to change anything? No. No, no, no literally not just the keep doing that. <laughs> it knew. Thank you, Destiny. Or Bungie giveth, and Bungie taketh away. And <laughs> Bungie just so happened to be giveth a thing. Huh. Where to go kill a lot of nightmares? Hmm. Oh, duh. Sorrow's Harbor, right? Yeah. That and also Lost Sectors, but the Moon Lost Sectors are a little long, so I don't know if I really recommend it. Yeah, whereas the night, or the, where I'm at currently is actually quite nice, killing the nightmares. Mm-hmm. Doing this perpetual ritual that the Moon seems to get off on.
Hmm. Odd. Killed three nightmares and I'm not getting any yet. Uh, maybe there's some specific kind of nightmare you need to kill. Oh, I think it's nightmares on other planetary locations. You um, check that out. Let me see. Because I feel like I remember doing that for something and it might be that activity. Oh, that's the payload one. I don't like the payload one. Let's see what the quest says. On the moon with arc abilities. Oh, I specifically have to kill them with my arc ability. That's what I've been... I've been... Ah, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, this might be a Lost Sector thing. Because there's too many people here doing... Yeah, the Lost Sector yeah. would would put you in your own instance, so you can avoid other people. Time to go do the same lost sector I just did. Got a lot mm -hmm. of nightmares. Yeah, you remember how you were having fun? Game said yeah. no more. Now you get to do the same thing over and over. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I'm just punch. I punch. Oh, acolytes. <laughs> Am I like the only person on the throne world right now? I'm not enjoying this. Oh, you know what? Probably all the other people on the throne world are over in the fishing hole. The OG planets don't, yeah. I was noticing that, but yeah, I didn't list all of them, right? New Moon and Throne World have lost extras to feel too long. Yeah, all the other ones feel reasonably paced, I think. The EDZ ones are definitely too short, but they also made like 30 of them or something. It's ridiculous how many there are. God, there's actually another person doing this now. I'm not just doing it solo. Why am I stuck there? What the hell? It's gonna take forever otherwise. Well, I guess it probably would have taken the same amount of time. Huh? I'm doing this um, public event that's like a payload. You gotta slowly move this payload along. Oh. <laughs> and I was doing it solo. What, Overwatch the over part. there? Yeah, just. Just decided to play some Overwatch real quick. I don't know, the Throne World ones don't don't feel too bad. Um 
The one I just did isn't so bad, at least. Let me think about the other two. There's that other one that is kind of long, I remember. Um, the plates on that, the one I just did, that can be annoying to do. But it's not the worst. I don't know why I didn't pick up a patrol while doing this. That was kind of dumb. Oh well. Too late now. Ninety-four percent, just a little more. All right, let's do this one. Oh, uh, this is working out fine. I just need more nightmares. Nah, uh, you're not nightmares. Yeah, in the lost sectors, I think only the bosses are nightmares. Well, no, there's the three witches, wizards, whatever, one acolyte, and one, and the ogre boss himself. So that all worked out well. Yeah, that's not so bad. I only need, and they drop like two, three at a time, and so I only need, I'm at 12 of 20. So two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, I could literally just run this one more time. Or, I can go do another one. Public event at the Archer's Line. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. I will say, now that I'm actually finally playing it in the order it's supposed to, the game's supposed to be played, story is very good yeah there like actually is a story <laughs> which is kind of new for if you only ever played destiny one ether resupply World activities completed. I still find it really weird that there's Vex on the moon. Yeah, I think they needed to... They, they felt like they needed more diversity in like what, what you can fight, so it's not just the same stuff on the moon. And I'm alright with that. But then yeah, yeah. it feels weird, because then like a lot of other planets literally are only two enemy types. It's like, okay, <laughs> so why? <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God, so many. Oh, God, this is not one to do alone. It's a very large servit servitor. Oh, yeah, that one can be a bit of trouble. Just let her crash it. Ow! Yeah, the servitors do crazy melee damage when you get too close. No, so, it's just a it, yeah. beam laser. There we go. He did. What are you doing? Just had a random uh, quest, uh, not quest, but a seasonal challenge I wanted to get done. Mm. 
Just required me to get some stuff done on just random stuff done on uh, Throne World. So I wanted to do that real quick. Uh, now I just got some seasonal things and some gambit things to do, but I'll do that later. I, this I'll week. do the gambit with you. I got two gambits to do. Well, I'd I'd be down uh, sometime later this week. Right now, I I'm kind of in the mood for Vog. So me too. I just want to finish this one. I've uh, been grinding yeah. slowly, grinding out. Oh god, that is a lot of... So one thing that can slow me down on my little roll is any explosive boy, whether it be Curse Thraw or <laughs> yeah. the, the Skanks. I'm like, oh, back up. Yeah, watch out there. I was doing great with... Uh, I was doing some activity, and I had, I had something where I was like trying to do it flawless for whatever reason. And I was doing so good, and then like in one of the final sections of it, there was like a, a big boss that was spawning and so I went to punch it with my melee build and I didn't know that there were also a bunch of explosive guys that spawned right at the same time and funny. immediately killed myself and ruined the, the flawless I was doing and just was like, oh, okay, never mind. Oh, I was doing deep dive, that's what it was. The season, One of the seasonal activities. Okay, I need to be very, very careful to damage the nightmares just enough. Yeah, just get them kind of halfway, and then continue with and your then, uh, your yeah, primary or something. Rampage. And then get them. Also, keep in mind uh, the things that the nightmares drop that you pick up it makes you do more damage to other nightmares. That's how that works. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess the game probably taught you that in the campaign. Or you yeah. figured it out. Okay, I think... We're good. Okay, before... Was that it? Was that all I needed? What is this? You lack something. It's another bunny, but he needs a kitty. It, there's a... Nightmare of a kitty next to the bunny. Oh my god, I need one more necklace fragment. I need a nightmare. Where? I'm going to Sorrow's Harbor. <clears throat> so we're going to do Vault of Glass. Super Everybody in chat watching. Nightmare boy. Gonna do some Vault of Glass. Gonna be teaching Vault of Glass. If anybody hasn't learned Vault of Glass, you're welcome to join. Otherwise, I'll find some people on LFG who are looking to learn. I don't want to get too many people who know what they're doing. Um, I, I want to teach people, so. But if you need to learn, let me know. You can hop in the call. You need spoils? Oh, but you've done it before, haven't you? Well, let me see if... Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, let me see how bad it is to LFG for people that want to learn. And if we can't seem to fill up space, then uh, then I'll get you in. How about that? I'm going to go ahead and make the... Uh, yeah, the I'm OFG. pretty much done.
There we go. Return to Eris. It was super creepy going into the pyramid. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I liked it. It's a neat thing. The first time, the first few times you do it, it's it's such a like a, a different experience. I feel like in I more, more recent expansions, it's kind of gotten a bit more normal. Like, oh hey, another pyramid. But like, man, those first few missions, even going back and replaying them, it's kind of cool. Like, oh, they did a good job of this, you know. Oh, is this her fire team? And she... Oh, mm -hmm. all her nightmares. A fine memorial and new symphony of death. There's only high wicked science can be turned against some helper investigate circle of bones beneath the moon. I'm good right now. Thank you, though. However, I am very happy. Time to go back to planet Earth real quick. <laughs> Hello. Yo. Welcome, welcome. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. All right. Memory of Cade. Oh. What? All right. I have no trouble at all. I taught 15 people last night. Yeah, Vogue's a great one, man. I really like this raid. I kind of miss doing uh, Sherpas of it. Mm. Holy shit, the recovery on that one. Damn. Hello, hello. Howdy.
sending an invite to my friend. Cool. Yeah, you said uh, your friend's done it before? He's done it. I guess that's fine. What's that? I usually like to get a full team of people who don't know what they're doing. It's always more fun that yeah. way, but uh, it's all good. Is there a drawing card I can get? Okay, baby. We're looking. Gucci. Oh my god, why does it want me to go see what's her name? All right. Uh so let's see. So Tex, you have done it in Destiny One. I know Titan's also done it in Destiny One. Um, let's see, Turtle, were you the one who you've done it once, or was that no, Devim? I've not done it. Okay. Yeah, Debbie. Debbie's done it once, but it was a long time ago, and I don't remember anything. Was it in Destiny One or Two? No, it was in Destiny 2, but I did, like, every raid last week, so it's all just mush in my head now. Ah, uh, yeah, that'll that'll do it. <laughs> what did Soul Invictus do? Soul Invictus Fun. is great. Um, it's just more, more fire. I think that's the Sunspot one, isn't it? Or is yeah, it I just the, got, I just one? got the Soul Invictus, or Phoenix Cradle leg armor from... It's all good. I like my arc build, but I'll keep those in the back pocket for later. Yeah, those you are meant nice. to be in here. Axiomness, thank you for the sub. I wonder if that's somebody from from the the Sherpa that we're doing. Tex, is your friend uh, hopping in? <clears throat> yeah, I thought he was going to, but he's he's reluctant now. <gasps> Okay, I, I might have I'm, somebody then. I'm sorry. Well, I, I'm going to hang with him. I, I'm sorry uh, for joining. My apologies. Why is he reluctant? Oh, uh, wait a minute. Oh, well, maybe is, he is. How could you be reluctant? Maybe he is coming. A free, free loot. <laughs> well, because he's done it and uh, Carr was advertising for people who haven't done it. Just play stupid. <laughs> what is this? Cerberus 1. Is this a good gun? Cerberus plus 1 is weird. It's like a an auto rifle that fires like a shotgun, kind of. It's an interesting one. <laughs> Shoots from all four barrels. Yeah. It's it's a bit odd. It used to have really long range, and it was broken in Crucible when it did. Yeah, there there are occasional just, things yeah. that it's good for. I think it was good for like breaking stasis crystals or something at one point, just because it you know fired four bullets at once. Yeah, you used to be able to just get random headshots across the map in Crucible with it. Yeah. <laughs> so Tex, you, you said just making sure you said your friend's not joining, but are you still going? Uh, if he's if he's not in, I'm gonna stay stick with him. Okay, that's a team right. in. No, nah, that's cool. Was, thanks for the invite, but yeah. Wish you, you guys good luck. Yeah, if you need uh, any Sherpa, feel free to let me know sometime. Okay, we'll do. Thanks. Okay, so we we'll need one more then. Sherpa for Vault of Glass. We're doing Vault of Glass. Hey, uh, Neb, looks like we got free huh. spot, if you want to hop in. Well, there might be some background noise, so I'll just turn my sensitivity down a bit. Yeah. 
be busy I thought I had another guy but I think he's doing something else let's see Hey B, if um, if uh, Neb doesn't want to join for uh, Vog, would you be uh, down to hop in? Oh, welcome back. Yeah, I had to reset it because Dolby Atmos for some reason just knew talking when I activate it. Yeah, I hate it when like you get like one update for something and then all of your apps are suddenly like, oh yeah, let's just completely deactivate what our default device was for the audio and change every little thing. It's a yeah, little it's frustrating. Strange. Can I shower first? <laughs> Big but I mean, I'm going to get sweaty anyway, you know. What is he on about? Reading my chat. Mm-hmm. Reading my chat for me before I can even get to it. Welcome. I, d I don't think you have time to shower, B. I, I don't think there's time for anyone to shower. I'd, I'd like to get into it. I do have work in the morning. <laughs> and I know this won't be lightning fast, so. Do you have an ad code, by the way? A what? Like a join code? Oh yeah. Um, let's use Titans. So it's just a Titans username in Discord, but just uh, add the numbers. Let's see. Hashtag. Oh wait, hold on. Is it the same? Yeah, it's the same. Sure. And then zero four two one. Zero four two one. And I guess I'll find one more person real quick. I think I got another. Let's see if he joins the Discord. See if he figures out how to select his role. How I, I gotta ask, is it that complicated to do the role selection thing? I set it up only recently. 
it's not that complicated. It'd be nice if you joined and it put you on there immediately. Because mm. it throws you on announcements. Okay, I wonder why it does that. But then it's, yeah, when you see it, it's kind of like, oh, okay. Here, banana, I'll send it for Spooky T. I called you banana just because you're stupid. <laughs> for five pictures, banana. I'll send you the join code. There it is. I wonder if I put role selection at the top. But I wonder if that would just make it work. Maybe you want to kick me in a... <laughs> You want to test it? I'll test it. Kick me real quick. Yeah, let's find out. Let's see. I'm back. Huh. I've got a good question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you think this would be more of a consensus? Do you guys think that it wasn't until King's Fall that Destiny raids got actually challenging in their mechanics? Uh, I think Vault of Glass was a decent start. But uh, it wasn't until King's Fall that it kind of went back to being hard again. That's for sure. Also, yeah, the I guess Crota wasn't game. really challenging. There you go. Why would people leave after the Gorgons? God, they're so easy to dodge and avoid. I remember D1, we went to, we actually went to, um, kill, like, we actually got away with killing a couple. It still threw me on announcements. Damn, dude. I wonder how I changed that. You could, I mean, I think that's just the default where your server goes when people join. Hmm. So you could just, you could try to swap them pretty much, just like make your announcements the new role selection well i don't know i mean it wasn't like the first channel i made though so why would it be the default at what point did that nope. become the default you can, it's probably in the settings where you can change it hmm. Maybe I should make announcements locked For what? to to everyone. Yeah, by default. Work. And then maybe I maybe if I just do that real quick. Hold on, let me try that. I'll save changes. My body get kicked again. <laughs> <laughs> For science. I do it. Okay, I just I made it not visible to everyone, and then I made it visible again. So. And I saved after each one, so let's see. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, you're about to get kicked again. Get ready. Right. It'll be really funny. Like, I mean, laugh just would make me laugh in such hysterical laughter. Would be, they had like a raid mode where, I don't know what it could be, but... Like almost like instead of a regular raid, but like a super hard raid, and be part you of it. That you won't believe it. I saw announcements. You saw announcements first. I saw announcements first. I see it now too. Okay, weird. So be a super hard. Almost me, make welcome. raids have like grandmaster raids, and have if the entire fire team wipes, you start at the very beginning, not just at your last checkpoint. So <laughs> they've kind of done similar things, actually. Um, there's the prestige raids back in Leviathan days. Well, there's also um, for Last Wish, if you use, put in the wish for Petra's run, which is basically just a flawless run, it'll just kick you to orbit if you if anybody dies. Immediately it'll kick you to orbit. If anybody dies. If anybody yeah. dies. 
because have uh, people been show. successful with that? Oh yeah, it's yeah. Not too hard. I've gotten it. What you've gotten it? Like it's no big deal. <laughs> I mean, it, it's an is, annoying. But... The hardest part is sitting there and inputting the code. Yeah, genuinely, it's the biggest time killer. What about Unless those people that have those? Uh, don't some people have those like scripts for it? <laughs> yeah, those people yeah. set up macros for they they throw on like a trace rifle and then just let the gun or let the the script <laughs> take over and they <laughs> zoom around and click all the buttons perfectly. No, 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 no. Now it'd be pretty funny if um. If, but like, I mean, if any, even if like she does her white thing, one of you's not in the room, everyone goes back to orbit. Yeah. Or how is the dragon, f the legitimate fight of the multi eyed bitch that's, uh, Riven? Yeah. Fun. I've heard it's fun. Uh, personally, I've never actually done it, so I can't say too much. You've about never it. done it legitimately. I've never done it legit. I, cause I, I didn't play when it came out. I play, started playing <laughs> Destiny 2 after. Uh huh. Um, so, like, I mean, I played, like, the beta of Destiny 2, and I played it when it came out, but Last Wish came out way later, and I quit Destiny at that point, so. It took a big gap from uh, from that game. Remy, I sent you the join code. God, Monte Carlo really does need a... I'm like really new <laughs> in the game. I don't know how to use the the join code everyone shares. Okay. Uh is it um are you on PC? Yeah. Okay. So uh you just copy and paste the join code into the game chat and then press enter. I'm not the newest person. Yippee. <laughs> <laughs> There's someone newer than you, Titan. That's cr that's actually crazy. Crazy, isn't it? Titan literally started playing like three weeks ago. So. <laughs> of course, everybody's at different levels of newness. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the Navigator. Fire your allies to grant woven mail. If I'm correct, there was a bug for that to let you kill your teammates. Yeah, I heard about that. I wonder if they've even patched that. <laughs> <laughs> and yes three weeks ago yep i mean i played destiny one but you know that was in the before time yeah titan's been looking forward to doing vog and he's finally not that I he know. needed it because it's locked at 1600 power but He's been leveling up and getting better gear, so I think he's ready. And it's also the pinnacle raid for the week, so that's nice. I did one. Um, been playing D two since day one, so yeah, I've been. I played D one, did one, literally one full. Um, uh, King's Fall, and that was it. Yeah, I I was. I was kind of similar to you, Spooky. Where like I played a lot of I played a lot of Destiny One. I played since the beta, basically, and uh, really liked the game. And then D Two came out, and I played the beta for that too. And then uh, when it actually came out, I was like, "This sucks. <laughs> this is not this is not a good game anymore." And I I quit for a few years and only came back in. Beyond Light, really, is when, when I came back. So I actually missed a lot of the older D2 raids. But, uh... I've been hardcore ever since. Is there any other... Um, sorry. Where where does Sleeper stimu Simulant come from? Is that so good? Uh, it's still decent. Um, linears are linears used to be the best boss damage ever, and if you didn't have a good legendary linear, sleeper was always a good backup. Mm -hmm. But um, now linears are not top dog. Rockets are. So mm. um, sad. Yeah. So rockets are best damage right now for bosses. Um, but with vault of glass, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. This will be his spooky's first ever raid complete. 
Yeah, he was he was saying he got the Gorgons, but then his group fell apart, so sad. Yeah. Hey, I'll give you the full Vault of Glass experience. We're gonna do everything, man. We'll even do some of the challenges, because the challenges aren't that bad. If you don't know about raid challenges, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's just an extra little challenge, but you get free loot from it. Like like a bonus drop for each encounter that you do. And since it's the weekly raid, we have the potential to do all of them. But we won't do all of them because one or two of them kind of suck. So, Okay, so... Which one sucks? So the, the time loss stuff is from doing the challenges on Master. That's the difference. Which we could do <laughs> if you want. <laughs> um, it instead caps it uh, at four, 1840 recommended power instead of 1600. So <laughs> I don't know if I recommend it uh, to people who are just learning it. So... Um, for for this entire raid, it's just rockets over linear. You said, uh, just for the boss fights, yeah. And I think uh, I think Titan's probably gonna run Galahorn, so yeah, no. um, if Sad. everyone else could run a lit, uh, legendary rocket, that would be good. If I'm running second slot Trace, what's a good primary slot? Um, well, you could run double special. Double special is actually nice because. Um, you get a kill with a special weapon and it drops heavy and you get a kill with a heavy weapon and it drops special and it just kind of goes back and forth so you get a lot of heavy out of it. Um, so that can be pretty fun. But um, you could also just run some primary weapon. Just about anything would be fine. I, I usually are... run double special so and I also have a, like double heavy ammo finder on with heavy ammo scout. So I'll, I'll let you know actually the heavy ammo finders don't really affect double special. <laughs> Um, it, it has oh, really? almost no impact. It only really works for primaries, and it especially only works if you use an exotic primary. Then I'll just put on a bunch of heavy scouts, so that way when I get heavy, it gives it to you guys. Yeah, that might work. There's a, there's a video I saw about it where a guy was testing like every single ammo-related mod and just kind of compiling it all together. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, this first section is just going to be ad clear, so just run whatever your first or whatever your favorite ad clear is. Uh, there are three I, sections. Yeah. Go ahead and pick I, everybody just right now. Go ahead and pick left, right, or middle. And we need two people in each section. So Does just pick one. anyone of the new guy, the new guy, does he have Gijalahorn? <laughs> All right, do you want to run a legendary? I have a really good rocket launcher, but yeah. Yeah. Well, let's worry about that when we get to a boss. Uh, right now we're just doing ad clear stuff. Yeah, I know. But, uh... <clears throat> Oh, he's, he's got like Spooky. Gal. Does have okay, Gal? Cool. That'd be great. Cool, cool. So immediately when we spawn in, you can get on your Sparrow if you want. Mm -hmm. Um, and don't fall off the edge. Yes. No one laugh at my Sparrow, okay? <laughs> laugh at it. By the way, it, it, uh, this is it, one of the it, few a... uncapped frame rate cutscenes in the whole game. Isn't it it's cool? A... It's not capped at 30 FPS. Wow, oh, so yeah. cool! And it it's already decent. over now. <laughs> And, oh, I got to see, like, someone's cape waving in the breeze. It was so cool. Yeah, isn't that neat? <laughs> I didn't even know the video's yeah, had you particles. you got replaced. You snooze, you lose, <laughs> bud. So immediately, uh, there's a plate on the right side, a plate down middle by the big circle door, and a plate on the left side. So everybody just pick a section. If there are three people in your section, that is too many. we got to split up in groups of two. And I'll fill wherever I need to go. I assume probably right side. I don't know where middle plate is, but I'm near it's it. It's up I top. Think? It's up top, up high. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. God, remember the good old days of you would just come here just to randomly step on a plate and and help out. People yeah. Were reading. Yeah. Back when this was actually an explorable public location. That was fun. So goal here is um. We're trying to build a spire, and we build that spire by just standing on these plates. Uh, the minotaurs will interrupt the progress on the plate, and if the plate is interrupted for too long, it'll do negative progress on the pillar. We don't want that. So just do what you can to kill everything. Again, whatever your favorite ad clear stuff is, just run that. And occasionally there are cyclopses, so watch out. They will blast you. 
if you're ever curious about the progress of the spire, you can look over on the right side, right where Carnum is right now. That big glowing thing is what we're building. Opening section's still pretty straightforward. It's exactly how it was in Destiny 1, if you ever did that one. Um, there are also uh, a few collectibles. And I say a few, I mean 12 collectibles in this raid. I did Sherpas for this raid a lot when it was still new to Destiny 2, so I have all of them memorized. Um, and if you collect all of them, you get a shader. It's an all-white shader, so it's actually a pretty good one. And if you guys would like that, I will show you all those locations. Yes, I want the old yes, one. I remember that one from the old one. Yes, it, it is was a, still a thing. It's the, it's the same shader, but they gave it a different name for some reason. So, uh, do both people have to be on on the plate for it to go? No. In fact, once the plate is activated, you can step off. Uh, it's just it'll deactivate if a uh, if a guy steps on it, but. Like, goblins are fine if they step on it, so you can prioritize the minotaurs if you want. It's only the minotaurs that deactivate. And this is actually good to know because there is a later section that has a similar plate mechanic, and the same rules apply there, where you just have to stand on it long enough to activate. Hey. That's it. There we are. So go ahead and grab the chest, but then don't progress forward if you want the collectibles. Uh, but go ahead and grab the chest first. So first collectible is over by me, down this way. I'm gonna go down into this cave. And somewhere in here, I can't actually see them anymore now that I've collected them, but. Right there where we were shooting. Once you get that one, the next one is a uh, little ways over, so I'd, I'd recommend getting on your Sparrow. Ooh, that's a wall. That's a wall. Just because you're in a bumper car does not mean you should drive like it's a bumper car. <laughs> I'm in a go-kart, all right? Come on. Isn't not it cool being thing. on Venus again? Oh, here's it's one nice, right here. Isn't it? Yeah, so the next one is right here. And then that, that's it for this area here, but don't go too far forward. If you know where the secret chest is, don't drop down for it yet. Um... But we can go through the big door now. I'll stand uh, where the next thing is. So I believe the first, I want to say the first five, are in uh, in the first half here. And then we're going to do a few encounters. And then the final seven are in the second half. And I know that they may sound like a lot, but they're really easy to collect. It's nothing complicated. The next one is behind this big rock here somewhere. Think about where I'm standing. That's exactly it. And then if anyone knows where the secret chest location is, you guys can go ahead and start heading down to it. And everyone follow the leader. I'm going to stay here for the guys who are a little lagging behind. It should be somewhere here. Oh, no, I died. Rip. <laughs> Yo, Chad, is this real? Is this real, is this real footage? No, it's pre-recorded. Oh, I just knew that you would here. show up in chat at this point in time, Yelena. Oh, no. Uh, rip. Good night. In here, in here. In here. <laughs> so there's that collectible. Now, if you know where the secret chest is, there's actually one above it. Uh, in case you beat me to it, that's where it is. Hmm. It's Wait. a Sherpa run, Yelena. Can you believe it? Can I stop mantling? What the hell? I don't think I'm supposed to be down here. There's a chest right here. Yeah, this is uh, one of the few raids that just kind of lets you explore everywhere. Oh, oh God. Bye. Oh, nice. No. Come. No. no. <laughs> Get bent. Uh, is anybody lost right now? 
Oh yeah, I don't even know how to get back up from where I'm at, to be honest. Uh oh. The next uh, collectible is over here. Up, up oh, Remy. Up. Remy went to. Uh, yeah, don't go any further, Remy. So, Spooky, if you could stay there to show people where the secret is. Who who's the lost one? Is it De Remy? He, he dropped down to start the next. What? Oh, the fuck? I, I accidentally. I, I am somehow on the Ignore other those... side of the wall from you guys. Ignore those oracles. I I accidentally stood on the plate. While holding Vex with the class, and that starts the some oracles spawning. So ignore that. Uh, okay, I I'm trying to come down to where you guys all were for the secret part. Yeah. Everybody, try not to. If you've gotten the chest and the collectible, you can just go wherever. That's fine. I don't know where the chest or the collectible is. That's yeah. the problem. Well, you pass by the chest. Here you go. Come here. Come here, Titan. Okay. Who who has not gotten either of the things yet? Debbie is still stuck somewhere. I don't even know how to get up. Over here, Titan. So here's yes. the chest. Okay. And then up top here is the next collectible. So jump oh. up there. Oh. You can collect the midair. Um, I know. Pretty quick. So good luck, though. It might be a little tricky. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying here. Debbie, I'm, I'm on someone. my way to help you if I can. Does someone have stasis to help him out? Got this corner. Got this corner. Try jumping on the corner. Oh, you got it. Nice. Wait. So why does this start the oracle standing on this one over here? Um. So that starts oracles if you have Vex Mythoclast equipped, and that's because that's how that's part of the puzzle to get the catalyst for Vex Mythoclast. Oh, you have to do this raid. Okay. Yes. You have to. You have to have Vex equipped, and then you can get it. How the f do we get over to you? Um, Eager Edge. Or strand, or stasis if you're good at it. Or I can just die. Debbie, you almost made it. <laughs> uh, oh. Remy's going the wrong way. But well, <laughs> no, wait, I know where you guys are. Remy's almost got it. Over here, Debbie. All right. Uh, oh Spook, God, Spook no. or, or Titan, one of you guys go show Debbie where where to go. I'm kind of trying to be a beacon for the other guys. Go follow Spooky. I am. <laughs> I'm stuck in a bad way. There's Remy. Yep. <laughs> there yeah, Remy. I'm like, I'm screwed. All good. I'm... Oh. Where's the, uh, the, what's it called? The other thing? The it's secret? The chest. Yeah. yeah Sp Spooky will show you. There's a, it's in up high above the chest, kind of close to it. You got, got it, Remy. Thank you. Nice. Perfect. And do what you can to cross this gap. Uh, wait, why is there res over there? What? I don't... <laughs> yeah, like, you, if you huh? die in a certain spot, you can actually... Where even wait, is... What's over here? Where, where did he spawn? Wait, what about this area? Yeah, that might be an easier spot to jump on, too. Once he gets there. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, I found a way down. Oh, hey guys, you don't have to go back up that way. You can come down, go further in, well, and it'll bring you to the. Well, well that that's kind of the wrong way because then they don't get the secret chest. So. Oh, there's another secret chest. No, there's just uh, there are two ways to go. One is the main way, and we went the secret chest way. Yeah. What? Yeah, so. You can just go the secret chest way. I'm looking down at the next battlefield. Well, I'm saying they, in order to get to where you're at from the other way, they'd have to go the main way and then climb back up for the secret chest. So it's just easier to... What? No, I went through the from. secret chest way. Yeah, that's what Got... I'm saying. What? I'm, I'm so saying confused. for them to go... go. Yeah, whatever. Well, we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Remy, try jumping to that spot there. You don't have to jump up to that spot is what I'm saying. Like, you can go behind you to get... Yeah, go behind you. Okay, you got this. Here, jump up. Jump up there. Oh, that works. Oh, he hasn't even gotten or not. the chest. Now I get it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, no. Oh, no. Here, maybe I can... No. Okay, I'm sorry. You're gonna... I think you're going to have to res yourself. That's... 
keep spawning you all the way up there. Alright, let me try to get there without Eager Edge so I can sh figure out the, the path that you want to take. Oh, I know where you can jump. Okay. <clears throat> I think there is oh, an easy way for you to do this. They don't but. let you go out to the sides anymore. That's so sad. So jump over here. Ooh, spooky! <laughs> oh, we saved ourselves. All right, we're good. So jump over here. And let's see. Uh, I guess here is fine. This is where you were last time. Um, Where can we go from here? Do you mind? Maybe try jumping up there. There we go. And then you can probably jump to where Spooky is. Nice. Now I just gotta get back. Remy over here is the chest. On Devi. And then for the secret, you want to jump on this pillar right here. Jump there. And then you'll jump up to there, yeah, after the pillar. Watch that, spooky. So go there and then jump up there. <laughs> oh, wrong way, Remy. <laughs> Hi, turtle. I didn't realize I launched you down there. That's pretty funny. Uh, up there, Remy, where I'm shooting. Oh, that's funny. Good luck down there, Chief. Oh. Chief. Champ. Buddy. You got this. Oh, I can come get you. Eh. Hold on, I'm going to come get you. Eh. Oh, hi. I know. There we go. So just interact with that and then come back. Today was a big W, big L, but we pushed through. <laughs> I have a new melee for Ark Hunter. They have a knife called Bolt Knife or something. What it would do is when it would it hits and add, it will bounce up to five times and the adds are still alive. It will give them a jolt. I'm high, okay. <laughs> and then just come this way. Damn. So, yeah, here's the <clears throat> last little bit here. So if we jump down uh, all the way to that lower section, that's going to be the first encounter, and it'll start the first encounter. But first, uh, we're going to get the last little collectible here. So follow me, boys. Uh, like I was saying yeah. earlier, there's um, there are two ways to go, technically, to get to this area. And one of them is the main way, which we did not take, because we instead took the other path, which is the secret chest way. Uh, so what we're doing right now is we're climbing up the main way that we were supposed to go uh, in order to get to the secret, and then we're going to go back down. So just keep following everybody else. I'll be right here. That's it. Mm-hmm. There will be seven more secrets after we do the next three encounters here, so... So just make your way over to me. Also, by the way, uh, it's Karnum who's talking, who's the Sherpa, in case you forget. I'm the guy with the, the goofy hunter armor with the panther head and stuff. We still have some people struggling up here. You didn't see anything. Hey, Remy, follow, follow Spooky. <coughs> oh, 
where did you guys <laughs> jump here? So you kind of have to jump out a little bit and then jump towards the wall. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, B, that, I, I think you might just be a little yeah. high because that literally is just a chain <laughs> lightning melee. Which we'll just play some Destiny while we wait. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let me join you guys. Actually, wait, wait, wait. No, this is perfect. You guys can play, right? Yeah, right. I can. Wait, hold on. <laughs> You're going to take a nap on the other couch? Nap, take a nap while you guys wait, are no, playing. No, no, make it, make it one of those couches that's like an L shape in a corner. You know what I mean? Let's see what we got here. Oh, close. Okay. <laughs> close. Can we overlap it? That's close enough. Oh. Okay. Boom. All right. So everybody's got the secrets, right? Everybody got all of them? Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Invisible couch. Yeah, I didn't think that would go invisible too. That's kind of weird. All right. So this encounter is uh, more ad clear. You'll be happy to know, so you don't have to change your loadout too much. But there are going to be wyverns. Oh, I'm dead. Everyone's favorite enemy type. This cat, uh, this uh, encounter is called confluxes. It's called that because there are going to be. Try to be careful not to drop down. By the way, uh, there are going to be confluxes. Yeah. You can see one right there. It's that glowing thing. Uh, the the simple thing, the explanation is just that the wyverns and all the things are going to try to sacrifice at the conflux and we got to stop them and the way we stop them is we kill them real simple um uh, i would say just for the sake of simplicity let's just have everybody split up in the same groups we did for the first uh encounter the door opener and um i don't remember who i was with do you remember what side you were on left then it was on me that side. Okay. Oh, it was me though. So it's um, so you just go to the same side you did it last time. Like I went, I was on the right side last time, so I'm gonna go to the right side. Um, the patterns for the the confluxes, there's, it's gonna start with uh, one conflux with a, a wyvern or two spawning in the middle, um, and then uh, it'll be the second phase will be two confluxes, one on the left, one on the right, and uh, wyverns for each side. And then the final one will be all three locations, left, right, and middle. So um, there will be some ad clear. Oh, and um, there are going to be some champions here, uh, some overload champions. If you want to deal with them more easily, equip a, a trace rifle or a scout rifle, equip the correct artifact mod on your artifact, and then... Spooky, uh, don't worry about mid. I have two trace rifles, so we're good. He's dual He's As long as you got the mod on, don't forget about that. Oh yeah, I do. I have, I have the, yeah, I have, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, yeah, so the that'll that'll I'll be uh, that'll be really it. That's the whole encounter. Nothing too crazy. I wasn't the one that um, pushed you off. I don't even have a sword. Oh god. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, come on. Uh. Does anybody have any questions about this? Oh, ooh, uh, so real quick. Um, well, okay, first, does anybody have any questions about the encounter? Nope. Nope. All right, cool. Bye. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Just kill just kill stuff. Don't let it sacrifice. And if a wyvern or uh, enough vex, like little little vex, and if enough of those guys also sacrifice, it's a, it's a wipe. So we don't want that. So kill everything. Pretty simple. Um, but here's the last thing. So... It is um, the weekly raid, which means we can get a bonus chest if we do the challenge. I'm going to tell you guys what the challenge is, and I'll let you guys decide if you want to do it. So the challenge is just that uh, we can't kill the wyverns. We can damage them, but we can't kill the wyverns until they start sacrificing. So once they start doing a little animation where they start like turning white and disappearing, then we can kill them, and that's all the challenge is. Now, I'm not going to say it's very simple if you're new to you know raid mechanics but it's 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 one of the easier challenges in the raid so if you want to get free loot we could do it but it's a, it's up to you guys what do you think let's just go i don't know if we're gonna be able to get that with 
this many people that are. Oh, I mean, I. If it depends on how confident you guys are in it. Are you? If you guys think you can do it, then we can go for it. If not, then you know we'll just deal with it. Yeah, same as spooky. Anybody in particular want to do the challenge, or does it just kind of seem like nobody cares too much? We can try. I don't think anyone cares too much. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Let's just, um, I mean, you know, if you want to go for it, we can we can try it, and then if we fail, then we can just do it normal. Three, two, one, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Everybody go to the same spots as the beginning. So let's let's start by trying it. So kill everything, but then the moment when the, the wyvern, wyvern... I'm just killing when they start turning yeah. all digitally. Matrix get the wyvern, like. I would say get the wyvern half health, and then just wait, and then just use your super on them. That's the easiest way I've found, at least. It's consistent. So the, again, the first wyvern's going to try to sacrifice down middle. All right, so he's going. He's pretty low health. I would, uh, yeah, he's I would low. not hit him yeah. right now. Oh, nice. It despawned. So actually, just don't kill him. Let him despawn. Perfect. So we're still doing challenge. So it's just going to be a little bit of ad clear for now, and then eventually uh, it'll spawn a conflux on left and right, and we'll deal with that. This isn't one of those ones where you got to save your super, right? Just use it? Yeah, just use it. I would use it on uh, maybe the wyverns um, when they're trying to sacrifice. I have well, so I don't really yeah. know how much If, if you have well, though, then yeah, just use it whenever. All right, so the conflexes are up. killed me. Uh, I'm not too sure. Oh, I, I didn't explain the fanatics. I can't believe I forgot about that. Um, so there are enemies called fanatics. You've probably fought them before. They're the explodey guys. Uh, but they leave a damaging pool in the middle, or not in the middle, yeah. uh, wherever they die. If you stand in that pool at all, uh, you will be marked for negation, and that means that when he does that ritual of negation that pops up on the screen every once in a while, you will die. I got a harpy, uh, or a wyvern. Yeah, so go ahead and get them down, I would say about half health, and then... Uh, We've got it. When they start sacrificing, that's when you want to hit them. Owie. Oh, dude. Got it. Now, the benefit of this challenge is, since we're not killing very many wyverns, um, or since we're not killing them until way later, it will actually spawn less wyverns for us to fight. So it is actually a little bit nicer. Now, these wyverns might actually despawn. Coming to the other side. Yeah, the, the conflux is despawned, so the wyverns are gone too. Nice. So it'll be a little bit more ad clear, and then it'll be a wyvern in each location. Oh, of course. Overload comes up right when I'm out of my tracer rifle ammo. It's fine, we got him. Yeah, this has changed a little bit since what I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you did, if the last time you played this raid was in Destiny 1, uh, you're in for a little bit of a surprise in some of the mechanics. It's actually a little bit different. I would even say a little bit harder in some ways. Alright, cool. The conflexes are up. Yeah, so if you get marked for negation, the only way to unmark yourself is to go to that cleansing pool in the middle of the room. 
Um, this isn't that big of a deal right now, but it might come into play later on. I say might. It probably will come into play later on. Uh, Alright, here. Here are the wyverns. Don't kill. Alright. Uh -oh. The one on the right side is, I think, low enough. I can kill him. I'll come get you as soon as the wyvern's done, brother. Alright. Spooky, uh, if you can't get the res, uh, could you get it? I can watch the right side for a bit. Ah, oh, we failed challenge. What? We killed the wyvern at the wrong time. I killed mine as he was literally yeah. could doing his a, thing. Could have been a different wyvern. I'm not too. Yeah, I'm not sure which one it was. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, we could wipe uh, if we want to try the challenge, or we can just continue on. It's up to you guys. Continue? Alright. We're at the end, right? Just oh, about. we're both dead yeah. middle, yeah, and the wyvern's going. Help out in mid? Ah, oh, damn. Well, I killed the one on right. We should be done soon, but... I don't have res, so res Remy first, yeah. I don't have res either. I use mine. It's okay, if we just kill the overloads, it's uh, encounter over. So, go ahead and kill those guys. Uh, that is a bit of a shame. We were doing totally fine. I mean, sure we could happened. fucking... Doesn't take long. No, it's not too bad if we want to wipe. It's not a big deal. Well, we don't have much time left to wipe, so it's up to you guys. Wipe it, boys! Fucking full send it off the edge! Jump Yay. off, jump off! Die fast. Let's see if we can... Everybody go, go wipe. Go jump off the edge, okay. yeah. Hurry, hurry. That might be it. Tur turtle, turtle, die! Turtle, die! Go die. die. Hurry, because challenge. Oh, okay. Uh, we might not get it. Ah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this this challenge is not that bad compared to some of the other ones. I would say this one... Um, the next one's not too bad. It kind of depends on how the group feels about the encounter itself. Uh, the one for the first boss is not terrible, but it kind of depends on how good our damage is. Um, the one after the first boss is a bit annoying. All right. Oh, I hey, boys, let's go. go. Let's go, let's go. But yeah, be careful about um, killing the boss too early. I would say once you see him half health, just leave him alone and then just pop a super on him. Make it easy for yourself. Oh, Wyvern's going mid. You guys got him, right? Yeah. Oh, but it disappeared again. That's fine. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, if it ever despawns, that's perfectly fine, too, for the challenge. Yeah, if we were not doing challenge, we'd probably kill the Wyvern instantly, and then it would spawn us another one that we'd have to fight. And depending on how fast we killed that one, it might even spawn a third. So it can be a bit of a pain. I honestly prefer doing challenge for that reason. Man, these all these quantum herpes flying around. Quantum kind of herpes. herpes. You got the digital herpes? Goddamn. You can't escape it even if uh, if you go to a different dimension. Is. Well, you can't escape it once you get it. <laughs> That's what they don't tell you about Ant Man. He caught, caught the the quantum herpes. Oh, 
right, oh, you don't wyverns. want the bubble turtle because that'll kill the wyvern. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, that's gonna kill it. Turtle, go away. All right, I can kill this wyvern here, spooky. Just let it be. Turtle, don't look at him. <laughs> He's good. All right, I'll let you have him. There we go. Yeah, this is a much cleaner run overall, too. Oh, that's a fanatic. Oh no, that's just a headless guy, anyway. I didn't know my, uh, my little ball did that much damage. Gotta watch out. Alright, new wyverns. Don't kill them. Until they're ready to sacrifice. What if I give you a little ball? Huh? Wait, what do I do about it? Oh wait, no, that was. I'm sorry, that was a. Uh... Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was the sec the third phase. It was just the last bit of the second one. My bad. Oh, overload minotards. Overload wyverns. Where? God, I hope not. of negation. Careful left, there's a fanatic goo on your pillar. Oh, All right, I see don't that. kill these wyverns. Careful. We're almost there, boys. Getting them down to half. Yeah, I don't have a super this time, Spooky, so you can use yours on them if you have yeah, it. I won't hurt him anymore. Oh, careful, middle wyvern. Don't kill it. Let it get there. You can finish it off, Remy, if you want. I can also help with the middle one if you need. Oh, wait, he's diving you guys. He's not even sacking. What the hell? Yeah, don't kill him. Don't kill him. Be careful. Yeah, make sure he does his thing. Oh, my goodness. We got another he, one left. He killed oh. me, so if you want to get it. Wyvern I can, mid. I, I can kill the right side one here. Nice. I think that's it. If there are any other wyverns that spawn, just don't even damage them. Yeah, conflux is gone. Don't damage them. Don't damage them. Conflux is despawned. Just run. They'll despawn too We're... soon. And yeah, where we run to? All right. So now we wait for the uh, overloads to spawn. Once they do, we kill them, and then I think Big Boy will do one more, one more negation, and then that'll be it. We got it. Oh, oh no, cleansing pool, cleansing pool, cleansing pool. Come here. There we go. And it'll just take a second for the... There, here we go. Here's the last negation. No. Unfortunate. Brother, no. And then it's going to take way too long for the chest to spawn. It always does this. There it is. There you go. Two chests. Yeah. Oh, money. Oh. My postmaster's going to fill up quick from this. Oh. Wow. Nothing really crazy. Sad. Any new weapons? Uh, machine gun. Uh, corrective measures is great. That's a good one. And... <laughs> the way it came out doesn't sound great. Well, it's it's good, but I have the 
time lost variation, so it's a, mine's a little better, but you know, we don't oh, have to talk about Oh, he's flexing. That. Yeah. He's flexing. It's still a great <laughs> machine gun, though. It's definitely one of the better ones out there. All right, cool. So uh, next encounter is going to be oracles. Yep. Uh, difference between time lost and normal is that time lost is just the fancy name for adept weapons in vault of glass. And the difference between it an adept weapon and a regular weapon is literally almost nothing except that an adept weapon can run adept weapon mods and a lot of people who are new to the game probably don't even have any adept weapon mods so you probably don't care about that at all so really the only good adept weapon mod is adept big ones which is just a combination of uh, major spec and uh, boss spec into one mod which is nice but only adept weapons can run it, so... And I think you have to... I can't remember what you have to do to get adept big ones. Wait, can we still go up in the middle there where it's super sneaky and you can never die if you're up there? Yes, you can. Oh, for this. Up there? Yeah, you can get up there. Up like there, yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, and no no one can kill you and you're out of the range of being killed by like. I, oh, wait, no, actually white... it's... It's a turn back zone, actually. I just got close enough. Oh, hey, you, yeah, you so could go all up. up. That whole area was like a maze up there. Yeah, it's giving me turn back when I get up here. No. That whole area was so much fun before. Like, you could, I remember in Destiny 1, there it was like a maze. It went deep up in there. Mm. there I remember is. that. There, there's still a few spots you can sit, but they're not all. <clears throat> well, you can't great. go out on these fucking things, these islands anymore. You know how sad <laughs> I am. Ah, uh, yeah, it's kind of a shame. Yeah, but I mean, started. like, it was so goofy. I mean, back in the day, you could sit up top, you know, where we start with the flag. You could sit yeah, there with icebreaker yeah. the whole time, and they eventually oh pushed that out. <laughs> I remember it's that. So dumb. <laughs> it was such a dumb thing. Oh God, you're bringing back all the feels and the memories, my dude. Well, here's uh, here's the next encounter. The next encounter is uh, Oracles. Um, Oracles is not that bad, but some groups struggle with it more than other groups. I don't know what kind of group we're going to be, uh, so we kind of just have to find out. But um, <laughs> how Oracles works is essentially that um, they're going to be little guys, little, little shootable guys that spawn these little uh, glowing spots squares yeah these little squares similar looking to the one here but not quite the same uh, i'm going to just start it and i'm just going to show you what it looks like real quick and then we're going to wipe oh the sounds yeah so you see you see these there's one over here on the right side if you want to join me actually there are two on the right side so that's what they look like and it's going to uh, give us an opportunity to shoot it and I'm going to shoot the wrong one. It's going to mark us all with negation. We're going to group up around this pool here. I'm going to do a 3, 2, 1. And when I say 1, we get in. 3, 2, 1, go. Because the moment you use the cleanse, it will uh, it will use it for everybody. So if you go cleanse yourself without everybody else being there, um, everybody else will die, basically. You don't want to be that guy. You're not that guy, pal. You You want to be that guy. Yeah. So you'll notice the oracles are spawning in a certain order. And there are seven locations they can spawn. And it'll, it'll just be random which ones. Um, and what we need to do is we need to just shoot them in order. It's Destiny Bop It, okay, guys? It, it is literally Destiny Bop It. Um, or Simon Says. if you Not Simon Says. Uh, Simon, the little... You know, four four buttons, like one red, one green, one blue, one yellow. You know that little thing? Let's pop it. No, no, no. That's, that's Simon. It's separate. <laughs> yeah, see, that was another uh, mark. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and wipe here. Um, that's kind of a visual of what it's going to look like, of, of all that. And now I'm going to explain what's actually going on a bit better. And if you'd like, I believe there are a few maps we can consult if you want to have a little reminder of where things are. Uh, would anybody like a map of where the oracles are? Uh, nobody? 
Didn't we used to have a someone running oracle hunting at some point in like older? Yeah, so here's the thing, right? Um, wait, who's alive? Titan, bruh. Get out of there. I'm trying, bro. <laughs> no, you're not. You're healing from the melee, you bastard. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> but, um... So, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, in Destiny 1, you could have one person shoot all the oracles. You can still do that here. But I will say, the challenge is not that hard. Um, <laughs> but it involves everybody shooting oracles. Um, so here's here's what I recommend. If you have the exotic machine gun Xenophage, uh, I would equip it right now. And um, if you don't have Xenophage, that's fine. You can grab a fusion rifle, uh, a shotgun. Um, you could do a sniper, that's also fine. But a fusion rifle or shotgun might be a little bit better. Um, and uh, it'll it'll probably take you one or two shots on the um, on the oracle to kill it. But Xenophage always one shots an oracle, uh, which is why I recommend it. They don't take any kind of crit damage, so anything that has a crit multiplier like a sniper isn't as good is what that means. Which is why I recommend a fusion, because fusions don't do crits, unless they're linear, but that's different. So don't use linear either. Um, and shotguns are a close second, I, I would say. Uh, I guess third, if you're comparing to whatchamacallit, uh, Xeno. So Xenophage if you got it, uh, fusion rifle if you don't, uh, and shotgun if you don't have a good fusion. So anyway, um, how this is going to work... Because I'm going to demand that we do the challenge here, because it's really not that bad, and it'll help you learn the encounter better. Um, the challenge is, you cannot hit the same oracle twice. Like, you personally. You you specifically cannot hit the same oracle twice. So you remember that one that was over here on the right side that I was showing everybody? If I started at this one, and it, it was one of the ones that was activated in the first round... I could not hit it for the second, third, fourth, however many rounds. I couldn't hit it for any other round except for the first round. Um, and the easy way around this to, to get the challenge done is literally just everybody picks a spot at, to start at. And then every time we do a round, everyone rotates once clockwise. That makes sense? You're hurting my mind brain. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'm going to I'm going to share an image with you guys. Um I hope this one will be all right. Go ahead and go to the raid stuff channel. There's an image I just posted there. It's maybe not the best picture, but it gives you an idea of where all the oracle locations are. Hold on. Okay. Raid raid oh. stuff. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. Yeah. So here's the thing. As you can see, the, there are seven locations for oracles, but there are only six guardians. Uh, our solution to this is to have one guardian take uh, two oracles at a time. But since we don't want to shoot repeats, our rule is going to be if you are at the R1 oracle, you are going to cover R1 and middle. So you're going to do R1 and mid. And then uh, when you're done with the, that spot, you're going to rotate over to L1. And you're going to skip over mid when you rotate. So you're, you're going to watch mid from R1, but you're not going to stand at mid at a, any point. So teams, Wait. same as before, have left, right, mid guys, just in the same area? Well, because then well. you might repeat some of the oracles you shoot. No, no, no! I'm saying have the teams there, and we wrote we can start there at our left. Oh right yeah, we can we can start there like that. Okay, cool. Something similar. Um, you said you said mid will go to L1, right? So we're going counterclockwise, not clockwise. No, we're going clockwise. So uh, our mid to our, L1, L2, our, L3, R3, R2, R1. Yes. So L1 to L2 to L3, and then L3 to R3 to R2 to R1. And then R1 to it, okay. L1. You skip from R1 to L1 because, again, you're already covering middle from R1. 
and you don't want to shoot it twice. Okay, let's do that. All right, boys. so everybody, everybody, pick a. If you've let's go, let's go ahead and rally at flag. Make sure we are all full on ammo. Um, get some extra ammo in here. There we go. And then everybody just stand at any of the oracle locations besides middle. Okay. So mm -hmm. the 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 thing is, we need to shoot the oracles in order, right? Yeah. So let's we say the pattern out. is um, L1, L3, R1. Then um, whoever's at L1 is going to shoot theirs. Then whoever's at L3 is going to shoot theirs. And then whoever's at R1 is going to shoot theirs last. Now the trick is, it's going to add an extra oracle each time we do it. And um, unlike, uh, unlike Simon, if you've done that before, it does not repeat the pattern each round. So the first round might be L1, L3, R1. Or l let me just simplify it. The first round might be L1, L2, L3. Second round could be R3, R2, R1. It, it, and then adding middle to it. So we just call it out when ours came. Yes. So the nice cool. thing is the game will show us the pattern twice. So try to pay attention to the first round. Get an idea of what the pattern is. But if you miss it, it's okay. Just give it a second, and you'll hear the pattern one more time. It'll show it to you one more time, and it'll just kind of blink each oracle. It'll make a big old bong-like noise, you know, like we heard before. Uh, it'll be very obvious which oracle's which. Um, and if you're musically inclined, you could even memorize the notes, if you like, of each oracle. They're all unique. Um, it's up to you. But... Um, but yeah, essentially, we're just going to wait for the pattern for the first one. And then if you need to double check, listen for the second pattern. And then when the oracles spawn for the third time, that's when we need to shoot. Now, callouts should be pretty simple. Uh, just say uh, one shot, two shot, three shot. And what you're referring to is which oracle you shot. Now, for the, the people here who don't have a mic... That's totally fine. Everybody else will just look in chat on the left side. There will be so and so, or uh, an oracle has been destroyed or something like that. There's like a, a white message that shows up. Um, and you just need to, if you're like number two, once you see the first one shot, that's when you want to shoot yours. And then if you're number three, once you see two get shot, then you shoot yours. It's pretty. It's pretty simple. So let's go ahead. I think it's uh -oh. not too complicated of a thing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We don't have to wipe. Okay, good. Okay, good, good. I found a secret! An area you're definitely not supposed to be able to get to. <laughs> well, I think... I'll show you later. Maybe maybe you can get you can get there, but maybe it's just not that you want to get there. Cause no, no, no. Really it, you go past the turn back. I know, no, no. I'm just uh, saying, like, I'll okay. show you when we're done with this. Let's go. Okay. Uh, does anybody, real quick, does anybody have any questions or do you think we want to just go for it? Let's go for go it. Go okay. for it. So everybody pick a spot. Um, Spooky, Turtle, you guys are at the same spot right now. You gotta split up. Uh, here, let me show you the difference. Sorry, let me show you the difference between L1, L2. So let me specify. So L1's gonna be like right here. We, he's been going around. He knows. And then Spooky's L2, us. L2's this one here. It'll be right at the L3 is pillar. over by me. Let's do this thing. So, Remy, just remember, since you're on R1, you're going to also be looking at the middle one. Does that make sense? I, I shoot it first. Uh, so, R1 and, and middle. Uh, uh, no, so you're you're going to follow the pattern, whatever the pattern says. I'm not talking about this thing here. Ignore this thing. That just starts the yeah. encounter. Uh, so you, we're going to follow whatever the pattern says, but if you see the middle one pop up, that is your responsibility. Because you're at R1. But then when the first round is over, you're going to rotate over to where Spooky is. Everybody's going to move okay. clockwise. Okay, let's uh, let's give it a try. Let's just see what happens. And there will be some ads, so try to, try to help out with that. If you don't have an Oracle. I got our, our one. Alright, I got, I got the third one. 
Just call it what what order it is in the sequence if you if you get one. I got three. I Two is mid. It's a main force. <laughs> yep. Go ahead and shoot. All right, shoot two. Break, break the middle one, right? Break, break two. Remy? Oh, that's that's you, Remy. Uh, All right, I got oh, it. Oh, spooky, spooky garden. That's okay. Spooky's probably not gonna get our one. So everybody, go ahead and rotate right now. So Remy, you're gonna go all the way over that way. I have first. I have. Uh... I have two. Okay, I got uh, R three. After the, it's the third one. Shot R1 and 2. Alright. Boss 1? Nice. Rotate, rotate. Yep. So just go to where the guy in front of you was. I have 2. 3. I have 4. I got two first. I'll check for you, Remy. I got L3. You have five, Remy. No, I got them. yeah. Shoot one. Two is shot. Three. Four shot. Fifth shot. Nice. Let's rotate. So I go over to Remy. Side. Remy, it's gonna be over here. It's over here, Remy. I have first. Remy over here. Where, where, where? You have you have you have five, Remy. It's right here, right here. I have two. I have right one. Or no, they've got mid. Shit. First shot. Two. Two shot. Three shot. Three shot and hold on. Four shot. I got that's, five? Yes, that's you, Remy. Okay. I got it. Nice. Alright, rotate, and this will be the last one. So, Remy, you're going to come up here. And it's going to be about here for you. I have one. I got two. I, I have less. Someone's got to get mid. I already shot mid. I, I have, have one. I have two. I got the third. You have six, Remy. Six? Two and yeah, five. you have six. Titan's got three. I got four. Oh, I'm sorry. I have one. Oh, that's my bad. So that's two. two. Three. It's three. Before I get to, someone needs to get two. It's three now. Okay, and three's gone. Four. Four. Done. Uh, no, no. Get ready to cleanse. Get ready to cleanse. Come to middle. Ready? He's already hit metal. Three, two, one, go. It's okay, it resets each round. We need to rotate from here. Oh. Hey, spooky. Everybody rotate head. one. Everybody rotate one. Just like normal. Spooky, can you take uh, middle and. I've already R2. shot middle. I can't. Oh, sorry, sorry. I got uh, one. Shoot, yeah. I got two. I've got. Second to last. One. Yeah, you, you have four, Remy. You have four. I got, I got four. five. You have four. Oh, I've got last. Okay. I got five. One shot. Somebody shoot two. Somebody shoot two, please. Two. Hello. Spooky, I can't. You gotta shoot What's Spooky. It? The mid is it middle? No. What? Middle was two. God damn, people. Uh, we, middle, I can't middle killed, again. We got a we got a wiper challenge. Yeah, let's go. Well, let's go ahead and wipe. I it's gonna start because we fully rotated. Yeah, we overlapped. Yeah. We're we're getting to our starting positions, which means we'll oh, start shooting. Right. We were we were really close though. Yeah. I don't know what so happened on my last one. I had real real I quick. So I already Remy, got middle the first one. Yeah. Real quick, uh, Remy. Yeah. Um. So we're not we're not calling out. Uh. What what location is? I know that the map has numbers on it, like R R one, R two, R three. 
Uh, we're just yeah. calling out what number the it is in the sequence. So we're listening to to the order that they spawn in. So if you don't have your audio turned up, I would I would turn up your audio a little bit so you can hear when they spawn. Um, yeah, because you you already know the spot you're in. Assume everyone knows R one two three all that shit. Yeah, it's yeah. just we're counting out which one. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Which, yeah so if I say like, I, yeah. Cool. All right, one again. Just go to your starting positions, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I think we got it. Yep. Let's do it. And I mean, make sure you get middle because I got last time. I think that's what we missed up. Yeah. 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 I, th I think he's got it now, so it should be okay. Yeah. Okay, boys, let's do this thing. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll shoot the thing to start. I have three. Tied and you have two. Yep. Break it, Titan. Uh, oh. I'm sorry. I got eager. Let's. I'm sorry. Let's just wipe. That was my bad. What happened? I saw. I saw an orb thing pop up on screen, so I shot. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> I was getting eager for some reason. I don't know why. I was trying to be fancy about it. I won't be fancy about it. That's my bad. So they spawn at the same time of the... They all spawn the at the same games. time after the two practice rounds, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The game shows the pattern twice, and then on the third time they all spawn, and we need to shoot them in the order that the game showed us. Okay. Ready. Okay. I won't mess it up this time, I promise. God, get carried, Carrie. <laughs> I had to make it harder. If I get an oracle, I gotta make One. it harder for you. Okay, I don't have any of them. I've got the last. I think middle is Fine, you have two. better. Yeah, so Middle you're gonna hit three. third, Remy. You got it, man. You got it. One. Titan, shoot. Remy, hit middle. Should I get it? Yeah, get it. He... So Remy, you want to watch the uh, the chat on the left side. Rotate. It'll it'll say when someone shoots an oracle, and you can count Rotate. how many you see. Uh, yeah. So you're gonna go to L1. I think I have two. I've got the third. I have one and two. I got four. I've got three, so let me know when you're done. One, two. Three. And now we rotate. One. Four. Five. Remy, I think you have three. Yes. Yeah, Remy has yeah. three. I have two. Yeah, you got three. I have four and five. One. Two. Hit three. three. Hit three. Three. Nice. Four. Let Wait, me go what? get five. Oh, we, we did Wait, the what? wrong order. Huh? Uh, oh. cleanse, 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 cleanse. Uh, uh, we can recover. It's fine. Let's just go ahead and get the res. Rotate. Res and rotate. Res okay. and rotate. I'll clear some of these snipers out if I can. I have three. I got six. Spooky, you have one. I have one, yep, yeah, kill. You have two. I've got a little second to last. Okay. That's one. That's two. That's three. I'm coming up on four. There's four. Wait. 
We got five. No, we don't. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and wipe. No. That's too much. Yeah, now we have to yeah, wipe yeah. a lot. Yeah, so with the challenge, we can get one mistake, and that's fine. But then two mistakes, I think, is too much. Or maybe it's three mistakes that's too much. I can't remember, but yeah. That's fine. I think we've we've got it. We just, you know, need to clean it up a little. It's all for the loot, boys. All for that, RNG. <laughs> hmm. Hey, before we start, I need some clarification. Or when we start, I need some clarification on one of these. Sure. We can do that before... before uh, just for me. Where yeah. is R1 and R2? Sure. Let I, me show you. I know mid. And I know R1 I'm, I'll, is here. Let me just go run through all of them, just so you know. So this is okay. R1 right here. Yes, I know that. Uh, and then R2 is over here on the edge. Right okay. Here. And, and then, then I know where three. I know where the rest are. That was yeah. just R one and two. I just haven't been getting two any time. Here's R three. I'll I'll just go around and show everybody else. Um, here's R three if you want it, and then L three is across from it over here, just about there. And then L two is right here, and L one is right about here. And of course, oh. middle is in the middle <laughs> right here. I think it's maybe a little floaty, but I, I can't remember. Yeah, it's pretty much, man. Yeah. Okay, and that's cool. it. You have a M-gram on the ground. I do. I can't pick those up because my inventory is full. I need to clear out my vault <laughs> space so I, I can clear out my inventory. Anyway. Let's do it, boy. Let's do Start it. Start it up. One. Three. I got two in the middle. Perfect. Everybody else just clear ads. One dead. Two down. There it is. Rotate. Sweet. I have one again. I got two. Three. I have four. Yeah, I've got four. One dead. Two dead. Two incoming. Three, sorry, three is dead. And four Pretty is four. dead. Nice, nice. Rotate. Sorry, dude. One. Two. I got three. I've got last. I have four. Okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll just clear ads this way. Yeah, I've got five. Hello? One and two down. Four down. Four. Sweet. Nice. Rotate, Titan rotate. breakers. Titan breakers. There you go. You guys, you gotta call out your numbers a little better. Well, he had to yeah, sorry, get two of them. I did so. a finish. I had, yeah, I had noise. both, so I just did both. Oh, yeah, I was on five, and I didn't know. Oh, good, okay. I got two. Three. Six. I do not have Four. one. Okay, I've got one. And two. I got five. And I have six. <clears throat> Two's down. Uh, I oh, fucked it up. That was okay. me. That was okay. me. Just group up, group up, group up. Sorry, I was getting Three, two, one, cleanse, ad. cleanse, cleanse. Nice, we all survived. I was rotate. getting pushed so by a huge ad group. Yeah, rotate so once, rotate, rotate yeah? once. I apologize. Pattern, it, pattern will start oh, soon. Right, Just get right. ready. Debbie, you don't have one, so just clear ads. I mean, you have one, I think. Five. I've got at last. Okay. Go. One. I got two. Got two. Spooky, let me shoot yours. I've got six. Okay. 
one. It's one down? Yep, one's yep. down. Eight, two. two down. Three. Three's down. Four. Five. And six. Nice. There you One more rotate. Ooh, wait. Give me that heavy. I got one. I got two. Four. Six. I've got last. Three. Yeah, I got two and three. Yeah, five. I got six for I've sure. I've got seven. <laughs> one down. Let me go get. Get three, get three. Three, three's down. Go four. Four down. Five. Six. Ten, last one, last seven. One. That's it, boys. Sweet. That ain't too bad. And more free loot. Yeah, so if we didn't do challenge, it literally would have been you can just shoot Chess. whatever oracle. Like, you could have one guy do it. If they I got two actions. vision of confluences. <laughs> They're both one's tunnel Found. vision, one's surplus. Lol. Found verdict. So this is a boss. This one, next one here. So it's rocket time, boys. Rocket Fishy man. Rocket clock. Go ahead and get my best rocket here. Um, yeah, are there overloads good. in this section? Uh, there are no champs in this section unless you play on master. So. Oh yeah. What's with? Oh, I forgot about that shield. <laughs> yeah. So there is the relic. Uh, this is the first time we're going to see the relic. It's not the last, though. Um, Relic adds uh, another la layer of uh, difficulty here because um, it's going to be only five of us doing damage and one guy using the Relic to do stuff. Um, so I'm going to describe what the Relic Runner does, and then if somebody wants to run that, they can run that. Otherwise, I can do it. And it's you just do. up to you guys for damage. Uh, but let's 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 find out because sometimes to some people running relic is easier, and other people running DPS is easier. So we'll we'll see. So what the encounter is here, right? Is um, we do a, a somebody picks up relic to start it, and they are the relic runner, and um, there are going to be three oracles that spawn in all the same locations as before, but there only be three of them. We do the same thing that we did. We just kill the three oracles in the right order. And uh, once that's done, we gather up for damage. And the guy who has relic has a super that charges on the relic. He's gonna hit the boss with the super. The moment the boss hits the super, or, or sorry, the moment gets the boss gets hit by the super, um, he uh, becomes vulnerable to damage meaning that's when we start unloading all of our rockets onto him. <clears throat> um, so we'll light him up with the rockets, and uh, he will try to teleport away. Um, there are five locations he can be. The starting location is going to be in the middle, and then the other locations are going to be four corners uh, away from him. Uh, so, like, you know, there's one, like, far left, one close left, one far right, one close right. Um, it's not too crazy uh, complicated, but um, and only really the relic runner needs to know. Um, so whoever does that, I can just show them. But uh, there are going to be four locations he tries to teleport to. If he uh, does teleport, he's going to get his shield back, and we're going to have to do another round of oracles to extend our time. Um, so the better plan is to try to kill him before we... Um, uh, bef before he gets a chance to uh, spawn more oracles, basically. That's our goal, is to just absolutely obliterate him with damage so we don't have to deal with that garbage. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. So the way we keep him from teleporting 
uh, and getting his shield back and extending our, our damage phase is by having the Relic Runner block his teleport locations. Now, technically, anybody could block his teleport locations. All you have to do is stand on a little glowing circle that will be wherever he is trying to teleport. Um, and you just stand in that spot. Now, it's just more convenient if the Relic Runner does that. He runs around, because the Relic actually gives you some mobility. Like, you can you can use the attack to move around faster, basically. So it's, it's, it's a little bit better for it, but, like, you know, anybody could technically do it if it's, like, an emergency situation. Um, so, but uh, all you do is you just stand in that spot, and then when he's done trying to teleport there, it'll change locations to where he's trying to teleport, and then you go block that spot. That's all you do. You just do that. You survive the adds. That's all Relic Runner does, basically. You hit the shield at the beginning, and then you block all the teleport locations. Now, I will say... Um, if uh, if we keep him from teleporting at all, like we don't let him teleport even once, that is what the challenge is. Um, that's pretty nice because that's kind of what we want to do anyway. It's just nicer if we can get a long damage phase. So why not? Um, so you mind Spooky and I are kind of getting into it here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you too. Come back. I need my good night kisses. That's uh, that's that's pretty much it. Is there somebody who would like oh, to be yeah. relic good runner? Shit. I I would say if you're not confident in your your damage capabilities, you might want to consider a relic runner. Who uh, are you people? <laughs> I can do it. Just watch it. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Well, so I'm 100% gonna do damage. Perfect. Sounds great to me, man. Um, I love you, too, honey. When worse comes to worse, if we need more oracles killed, so he here's the thing, right? Um, there are a lot of ways to do this, and you might do it differently with groups in the future. The skinny of it is that if you don't do oracles, you get marked for negation, just like before. So some groups will do something like they'll let the whole team get marked for negation and then just go cleanse and then do damage to the boss. Some groups will even do this thing where you like everybody jumps off the edge and waits to respawn until um, after the negation happens so that only the relic guy gets marked and then he just cleanses. It's like it's a little goofy, but that like that works pretty well for master um, if you ever end up doing it. Um, I just, I, I think it's probably just easier to just do relics because we know how to do relics. I don't think we're going to have right, any issues. I forgot. With do we have to do the oracle in order? Oh, sorry. I, I said relics. I meant oracles. Yes. So oracles, uh, same thing. You just got to do them in order. Hey, turtle. So uh, at yeah. the beginning here, there are going to be some oracles. We're going to hit them. And then uh, when we're done with that, uh, it's going to be damage. So everybody group up. We're going to do damage from over here. Um, there are a few spots we could be, but this is the more common spot, right? Right here. So if you're gonna pop well, pop well here. I would wait to pop well until after the the shield drops, um, just to make sure it's, we get the full use out of it. Um, Relic Runner, do you understand what you're doing? Who 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 is it that said they wanted to do it? I'll do it. What, what's your I'm a little username lost right now? Turtle. Turtle. So turtle, let me let me just tell you how to do relic running. So I'm come gone, over here. I'm gone, man. I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not there anymore. Where are you, man? I'm gone. Oh, did you go to the spot I told you about? He did. Yeah. No, but I went deeper. Oh yeah, I wasn't gonna go down deep because I knew oh. there was no way up from that. Yeah, that's. I got this. I got this. Hold up, I believe. Oh, I wonder can... where it would spawn you if you died. Probably over there. I, I think I if I started die. the encounter, you would probably... It would TP me, yeah. Yeah, get teleported. Yeah, no this is the secret wall. spot, Carnome. You come I, up I here. So. No, where I'm at, Carnome. Up there? Yeah, come up here, boys. Oh, you just I climb mean, it up can... there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then you come up yeah, here, but you go one. past the turn back. Oh, God, I fucking did it, too. Fuck it. Yeah, oh, God, I don't There's a rock that. that stops you from coming back. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I don't want to get trapped, too. <laughs> It's... Oh, you're fucked. But our flashlights come on. This is so cool. Yeah, your little ghost. Yeah, try try pressing tab. Your ghost doesn't come out anymore because he's casting a light. All right. 
Attention well, to detail, I'm on my King way back. I mean, I can kill myself. Um, I think I'm just gonna start the encounter and then make nah, it wipe nah. us. I'll, I'll make it back. I'll make it back. I swear. Bro. No. Oh, joining allies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna jump no, off I the edge with it. the relic. So get bent. <laughs> Why? It'll start. It'll wipe everybody against oh. their will. So. Yeah, if relic is not held for a few seconds, for more than, I think it's five or ten seconds, it wipes everybody. And this is the case for every encounter that has to do with Relic, so do remember that, everybody? Yeah. Uh, so somebody's got to be holding Relic most of the time. You can drop it for like a second or two, but don't drop it off the edge, because it will despawn, and then we wipe. i drop it. So, just putting that out there, because it might happen in the future. I'm so dropping it. You might. You very well might. Okay, let's do this thing, boys. All right, so relic runner, let me let me show you your stuff real quick. Um, sorry, let me. Oh, that's not the right chest piece. Get the ammo and so off. There you go. Okay, so you're gonna don't don't grab it now, but you're gonna come over. You're gonna grab relic, and then you're going to um, hop up whatever way you want. Um, you're just gonna kind of hang out for a bit. You can kill some ads. You can do whatever. Watch out for fanatics, everybody. There are fanatics in this spot. If you get marked for negation, you're pretty much screwed, um, because someone else will probably be using the cleansing pool at another point. Well, actually, no, it's probably fine. But either way, try not to get marked. Um, so we're just gonna be killing ads. You can help us kill the um, uh, the oracles too. Uh, with the relic, you can kill them. Um, and you're just going to kind of wait until your super fully charges. When your super's all the way up, you're going to stand just anywhere, and you're going to lob it at him. There's a little bit of a drop to it, so try not to be too far away from him. Gotcha. Um, and if you are, you know, try to lob it, you know, aim high a little. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, you know, you're just going to hit him with the super, and then I would recommend uh, you come over here um, to this spot right here. Because if you stand here, you can see all four locations. And I'm going to shoot at them real quick for you. So one of the locations is over on that rock over there. That's far left. Gotcha. One location is over there. That's far right. right. Uh, one location is right here. You bastard. Down there? You sure? Yeah, yeah. Down here. you got to jump off the edge. All right. All right. And now, <laughs> oh, I'm not an hour later, when I finally spawn back in, I can show you where uh, close left is. Yeah, so this one is uh, close right over here. Okay. And then uh, close left is here. Right right on this spot here. I'm just jumping around gotcha. so I don't get booped again. <laughs> die, die, come here. What? What am I coming? We're going to go to the spot. Oh, man, you messed up my ammo, dude. I forgot about that. I'm coming. But yeah, so this is L2 over here. Yeah. Or right, far left. This. Oh, what am I watching? Oh, <gasps> you're so far. God, I'm dead. And we're doing damage from where Debbie is, correct? Right here on this platform. Yes, yes. Alrighty. we are. Um. All right, I just want to go over real quick, right? So it's right here, right? Yeah, right there. Right here. Over here, right? Mhm. Mm Right here. Yes. Where was the last one? Last one is over here. Gotcha. Okay. And it'll be obvious what you're trying to stand in. It's just going to be a ring. You stand in the ring. Try not to jump because I think sometimes you can jump too high above it. Um, gotcha. You can block with the relic. Um, it'll uh, it'll protect you. It'll make a little bubble around you, but it's a temporary shield. You can't hold it forever. So if the gotcha. ads are being I've a bit too enough. much, you can deal with that. It. Yeah, <laughs> I think you got it. Do we uh, all go so, to an oracle spot to start, or what do we do? Uh, I can just kind of watch right side, and then someone else could watch left side, and just try to shoot them in order. Um, and then everybody else just clear ads. Try not to waste your heavy, but you know, just go ahead and clear ads. Let's go ahead and start. Do two, one, go. Let's do it, boys. I'm gonna add clear on you, gnome. I have one. Two. I think I have three. The last as well. one is R two. 
No, R2 is the that. first one. R, R. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're right. My bad. Yeah, total, total's got you get, two. Someone get the first one. R2, R3 is the first one. R3 is the first one. R3? Two. 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 And three. He's on three. I'm gonna come He's on three. Alright, All right, really so everybody get ready him. for damage. Group up, group up. Bam. And then damage. Oh, damn it. Uh, not. Oh, yeah, and there's detain. I forgot about detain, but it's no big deal. And damage, boys. Messing up my rotation so bad. Dude, you're throwing. Oh, pop me. He's detained. He's teleporting somewhere else now. I'm standing in it. So they're new oracles. But we're just gonna keep doing damage. We can damage. still damage them. Yep, just keep damaging them. We've almost got it. Just keep shooting. I can do this all day, man. Easiest job on the world. Wow. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Damn, did we just get the challenge too? Yes, sir. Wow. You can tell because we got two chests. So much Epic. blocks of glimmer. Did you just glimmer glamour. Glamour. Yeah, there's a reason why throughout a lot of Destiny 2's history, ever since uh oh, don't go too far down, guys. Turtle, come back, turtle, come back. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's some stuff you'll miss if you go that way. I got two um, fate bringers. So, Explosive um, this next secret thing is over here. If you remember where the secret chest was in Destiny 1, it's in that old room on the left side here. It opens up. Spooky. So follow me, boys. Hmm? Come here, Spooky. Where Everybody over here. Everybody over here. So over this way, Fun. into this hole. <gasps> oh, yeah. So the Hidey secret hole. chest is not here anymore, but there is a little secret crystal oh. you can find. Don't drop Whoa. down yet. And then whenever you get the secret, go ahead and drop down here. There's a little box that might give you trouble. Just keep powering through. Ow, my knee. Yeah, so there used to be a fun little game I would play here where I would not press my spacebar and I would just keep dropping down and cross my fingers that I didn't die. And that was the game whether I died or not, but now that they've removed dying from fall damage, it's not really something you can do anymore, sadly. You can still die from fall damage. If you uh, stack it. It's not momentum damage, though. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't, I've don't. i never died from fall damage since the update, so I don't know about that. You still can. You just got to take some damage beforehand. Yeah. Ow. My you got full health. If you got full health, you can't. Now, there will be a spot where we need to stop dropping down. It'll be kind of obvious because it'll it'll level out a lot, and there it'll be kind of a little cave. I'll try to point it out when I get there. But oh my god, I'm there. down to a RCH of health. <laughs> yeah, it will it will always leave you there. Um, it will not actually kill you. Sadly, it used to be more fun when it did. Sadly. <laughs> yeah. All right, stop, 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 stop. This is the room. So in here, there's a little hole in the wall. I think there Jesus was a secret Christ, chest in I'm here a thick too. Boy. And somewhere in here, there's a secret thing. I can't remember exactly. I just was able to collect yeah. it right here. Yeah. Got I I feel like it should be in the center of this ball, but it never is. Yeah, it's we know. To the side. This was the old Gamahorn chest, wasn't it? I think. Uh, maybe. Turtle, did you get it? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Just making sure. And then we go through here. Drop down here. Actually, wait, sorry, this was the old Galahorn chest, this one here. Now this is just a, a plate yeah. for the catalyst. Vexed, yeah. So the way the catalyst works, in case you do get vexed and you want to get it later on, is you just, you find those plates throughout the raid. Uh, you got to go to each one with vex equipped. Just somebody in the lobby has to have it equipped. And then it'll spawn oracles, and you just do the same thing with oracles as we've done before. So you can go this way. There's a way you can go on the left side. doesn't matter. And we are now in the Gorgon Labyrinth. Um, so there are a lot of things we can do to deal with this. Um, Kill them. 
We're killing them, right? I got this, guys. I got this. <laughs> Good luck. Um, if you want to kill them, I. I'll say this: um, the Gorgons are uh, blind. Like they they are very nearsighted, but they are not deaf. So there are certain things that will alert them that are noise related. So any any abilities, any weapons, uh, all that stuff will will alert them. So try not to nope. use any no of that. Clip but also your boost. So hunters get the double jump, warlocks get the glide, titans get the jetpack. Um, all of those make noise. But just normal jumping and normal sprinting does not make any noise to them. So you can bee hop, but anything else is, is too loud. Now don't, real quick, there is a secret chest in here, so don't actually go through yet. So back up. I'm going to go ahead and just unlock the chest. And then once the door is open, it'll just stay unlocked. Um, so there we go. So there are just some boxes I'm going to shoot real quick that um, essentially unlock it. Um, let me see if I can, there it is. Spooky, spooky, where are you going? Oh, I gotta the shoot these looking. things. I gotta shoot these things and then you guys are gonna wanna go back for the secret chest, so. Yeah, it's on the far side, so. Basically flying splinter cell. <laughs> nope. Oh, Idiot. Oh, oh man. Well, I can't get to the thing in time. We tried. Yeah, so let just let me go through real quick, guys. Okay. Let me let me go through. I'm not solving the puzzle. I'm just I'm just hitting these blocks so that we can get the uh, secret chest. Yeah. And then we can go through the Gorgon stuff. So just give me a second here. It won't take too long. Who's got the video game thing? Make the kids simmer down. That was me. That's me. But if all three people go on it, it ends. Does it? Yeah, it does like a high five animation if you have three people. Oh wait, I want to see this actually. You two go on it. Turtle, Remy, can you go on it? Right, real quick, let me do this. There you go, guys. Well, now you won't be able to see it. I can see the outline. Okay, now do it, boys. Oh, that's cool. No time. I'm gonna watch the kids. Wait, what? Why did I not get my? My melee back. What the hell? Turned it's funny because I always ball. emote so I don't accidentally shoot when people are explaining encounters. That, that draws them to us, Spooky. Oops. I think we're out of the range anyway. Yeah. You can solve A nice That's bow and arrow you got there, Legolas. I'm fine. Is it Wish Ender? It is. What does it do? It's anti barrier. It's super good. Anti barrier that, and also uh, lets you see through walls. So. That, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It lets you see. Yeah, that's true. And then that and Lama Narc are like the two best things to have when you do Lost Sector solo. Hmm. They both just in, even in, in, in PVE, it's get a flaming quick draw hand cannon with lucky pants and wish ender, and <laughs> people hate you. Yeah, yeah, well, you're a hunter. And then I, I just got this you... fate bringer though. Explosive <laughs> payload and kill clip. Mal Malfeasance Ooh. does like fifty thousand damage with lucky pants right now. It's stupid. Yeah, it's insane. And they're talking about making hand cannons stronger next season. Fun. <laughs> Doors open, boys. I'm gonna see if I can get out of here, but no promises. Turtle, you going to the door? No, I'm running in a random direction. 
<laughs> oh, well, there's a Gorgon over there. There's actually like two. I see him. He's walking over to me. Oh, I'm fucked. No, never mind. They're, they're stupid. <laughs> Alright, boys. Head to me. We got a Gorgon between you and us. Dude, I'm being ganked. Be brave. They can't Don't hear you. Shoot. Don't shoot. Oh my... <laughs> Guys. Yeah, you can just run right by it. Yeah, as long as you don't jump, they they don't hear you. So yeah, again, they're they're pretty they're pretty. Oh, I got armamentarium, armamentarium chest. Yeah. Damn, what the hell? Running Gain so additional fun. grenade charge. Yeah, it's a fun ace. <laughs> hurry, get the chest, boys. <laughs> Remy, <laughs> hurry. Is, oh no, uh, he's gone. Well, well, well <laughs> firefly good for the server. He's not getting it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, just flying through the door. Here, here's what we're gonna do. Follow me immediately. Don't waste any time. Everybody, just follow me. We're gonna run right to the the chest room. That seems like a really good. Could that would that stack to make a three grenade? For some no, people? it always oh. maxes out at two. Yeah. Sad. Not that I'm a grenade guy, but I mean, not for this build. All right. Immediately run and follow me. Follow me. No jumping. No jumping. Gonna go this way. Or shooting. Stay on the right side. Or sneezing. Oh, that guy's a little close. Oh, God. Alright. So now, uh, before you put down the flag... Oh, no. Do we leave somebody... We left Turtle behind. Turtle... Ooh, I was supposed to say go. I already got the chest. Yeah, but, like, we we're gonna kill the Gordon. We're running through the labyrinth. So, uh... Oh, I'm fucked. It's over here. Yeah. You you are. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> we got the chest now, anyway. Uh, does... Smiley face! Well, here's what we're gonna do. Again. Um, does everybody here have Wardcliffe Coil? Yes. What is that? It's a exotic rocket launcher. That's funny. <laughs> no. It is That's not good <laughs> for anything, really. Except for very niche things. Point. Um, so... Let's go ahead and go back to the chest room because there's also a flag there. Everybody equip Wardcliffe Coil. Uh, Titan, if, since you don't have that, can you equip... Um, what's it called? Uh, oh my goodness. The the shotgun, the heavy shotgun that does weakening. Oh, this guy's oh, just right here. What finality? the hell? No, no, no. no. The, um, tractor cannon. Tractor cannon. That's the one. Oh, I don't have that with me. Uh, you can... Probably pull it from collections. <laughs> How? Go to collections, oh. go to exotic, and then go to power, and you can grab it there for a little bit of glimmer, a little bit of legendary shards. Um. Yeah, I don't have it. In your collections, you've gotten it before. You talked about it. What is that? A power? Oh, tractor cannon. That's yeah, it. Yeah, tractor cannon. Yeah. Okay. You know what, I got an idea for how we're going to get past these guys, also. Is everybody ready to move? Yeah. Alright, so I'm just going to turn Hold us on. invis, so let's group up somewhere, and then I'll turn us invis, and then we'll run past them. Make it easy. Okay, there's a guy real Hold close on. right now. Okay, I'm ready. Alright. Go, go, go. I don't think they're even there right now. We should be okay. Yeah, we're good. Get in the room, get in the room. And everybody, uh, if you get your Wardcliffe coils out, and then uh, once you get it, go ahead and uh, rally to the flag here. Now, what we're going to do here, we're not just going to go crazy with it just yet. Um, go what we're going to do here yeah. is um, they can't really detect us unless we shoot them directly, like do damage to them. They can't really detect us while we're in this room, for whatever reason. So I'm going to shoot to get their attention. Um, and we're going to kill two Gorgons in one go. There is a triumph for doing this. You don't get anything for it, but it is fun to do. He's so, looking at us. <laughs> yeah, there's one. Oh, there you go. They're, they're here. <laughs> Everybody ready? Yeah. All right. How close do I have to be with the shotgun? Hold on. I think the one guy got far away. Give it a second. So with the shotgun, you, you got to be kind of close. Ooh, careful. 
All right, go, 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 go. Let's go, let's go. I need you to tag both of them, Titan. There we go. That should be a triumph for everybody. I shot a rock. Huge, huge. Triumph. Too fast, two Gorgons within three seconds. Ooh, so, I, I need a res. I can't res myself. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's get... Oh. Let's now play the... Oh, we alerted one. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. <laughs> I wasted my tether, but that's okay. Let's get his res. Let's get his res. <laughs> we're we're going to play the game now of how many Gorgons can we kill. Now, he, here's the, the tricky thing. Group up, group up, group up. Here's the, the tricky thing. Uh, they're going to get stronger and stronger. So it's going to get harder and harder to kill them. So Okay, let's do it. Let's see. Let's not alert more than one at a time right now. Uh, so let's see. There's oh God. one kind of close, but he's... One right, one left. Oh, there's, they're all sacked up. Yeah, a little bit. Let's go right. So, yeah, let's go right here. Oh, yeah, this guy, this guy. Three, two, one. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, he's so far away. What the hell? Okay, well, now there's a second guy. Hit him. Hit him. Oh, <laughs> no. He zoomed away, no, man. No, the end grind. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so it, there's something funny about Wardcliff Coil. It does bonus damage to um, vehicles, which is not really that big of a deal, except that for some reason, I think the Gorgons are coded as vehicles. Hmm. <laughs> actually, oh wait, no, I think I, I remember hearing that, and then somebody actually told me that that wasn't the case. So I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore, but that was the thinking for a long time. Uh, now we're just going to try to get through the Gorgon maze. Um so it's just kind of more of the same. We're just going to run past these guys and try to not get caught. If you don't know where to go, try to just follow the guy in front of you. Remember not to do any double jumps, no boosting, no gliding. Just level hops. I think it's safe. Follow the leader. Almost there, almost there. Nice. All right, so we're going to go through here, and then when we hit the load zone, when everybody hits the load zone, we're going to turn back around and go back in. And you'll see why in a second. Here's the load zone. Stop. Turn around. Now, there's going to be a wall here blocking our way. But sometimes it's not a wall, but it is a wall, but it's not a wall. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Oh, I got through that. And I did not. I just ran to the right wall slightly. Kind of randomly. There we go. Oh, a little hidden thing. Yeah, so there's a little collectible over there. And then the next collectible is all the way by the secret chest. In that general direction. So you'll notice all the Gorgons have despawned, which is very convenient for this. Um, there used to be a very fun glitch that they unfortunately patched um, where the water would be glitched out for the texture, and it would be this like flashing neon uh, light. It was, it was great. I, I loved it because uh, it looked so terrible, uh, but uh, they patched it, sadly. Now, the next crystal is, I believe, on that rock. I could be wrong. Maybe it's that rock. Oh, yeah, yep, it, it should be yeah, it should be obvious for you guys. I just can't see it because I already <laughs> gotten it. So got it. And then that's it. Uh, there are gonna be a, a few more collectibles in the next section. It's a jumping puzzle in this next section here. I'll let you guys figure it out. But oh, if you... I remember that one. That was so much fun. Yeah, this is I can't one. wait. This is bring back good memories. Especially like every back in the day when Titans were the only one with good jumps to really fucking do it easily. Yeah, oh, that's so much fun. Just you wait till you get you, uh, a pair of Lion Rampant. Lion Rampant's a great pair of boots for Titan mobility. You can just fly forever with those things. It's great. Let me in. Let me in. There we go. And if you want they the next... They purposely did uh, that. Yeah, there's something weird about that. I don't know what that's about, basically.
But yeah, the uh, the next few collectibles. First one is going to be over by me. So just kind of follow the leader, just like before. Oh God! Bye, boys. Love you. And I was falling. <laughs> Wait for Turtle and Titan to get here. So Spooky, Ooh, you're gonna get to the missed. end of the cave here, and then you're gonna drop down and st and hug the wall as you drop down. You're gonna land on a platform below us, any platform really, and we're all gonna do the same thing. <coughs> gonna go all the way down here, and there's a cave inside there. Have fun jumping into it. Ooh. It's kind of annoying <laughs> to jump into <laughs> sometimes. Oh no! Oh, there you guys. <laughs> You're all the way up there. Yeah, so the collectible is just in that hole. Uh, now, if uh, you want to make your way back, uh, you can try whatever you can. Easiest way to get back, though, is to just jump off. Do what I did. Do what you did, but on purpose. And then it'll it'll stop, it'll spawn you all the way back at the beginning, unless someone raises you. Then you gotta go in that cave, Titan, at the very bottom. I wanted to res them. Uh, unfortunate. Go Spooky. Spooky's Damn, dead. he's got yeah, it, man. Live. Wait, Turtle, why are you over there? What's over by you? Uh, the exit. I thought it was further down to the left. Oh, well, so, yeah, no, Turtle's by the next secret, actually. Wait, what's this panel over here? There's a pad over here. Ooh. I don't know. Probably just nothing. There is a definite, like, one of the ones that you were talking about, if you look over here. Oh, over there? Yeah, no, that's where for... I'm shooting. Yeah, I know. Where you're, where you're shooting. Yeah. Uh, there, that's one of the uh, Vex Catalyst locations, yeah. Is everybody here? Remy's working <laughs> Remy. on it. That's okay. The next collectible is up against the wall here. It's pretty obvious. You can make your way to the exit. Uh, if Does somebody know where the secret chest is who can show it to everybody else? Or is that a no? No. See that. Fuck you. I found it. You found the secret chest, Turtle? Mm -hmm. Okay, so everybody go where Turtle is. I'm going to make sure Remy gets the secret thing. Had a very big oh, Re Remy, don't on it. don't jump down here just yet. There's a secret to get. Oh, how do I get back up? I can't remember. What, what am I doing? Where am I going? Follow everybody else to the secret chest. How the fuck did I get up there? What the fuck? I need that sword. Egridge. Yep. Okay, so now what? Where did now? Where do we go? Uh, you guys are pretty much at the exit, so... In here, Remy. There's a secret on that wall somewhere. Awesome. So there's one more secret. Uh, you guys can find it. It's somewhere oh, in I the see general it. area over of here the door. By Titan. Yeah. It's pretty easy to see once you look around. Locate Remy, the, uh, all of them. The secret uh, chest is up here, Remy. Up by Carnum. <clears throat> Don't knock him <laughs> off. He just got up. You bastard. I had to get my revenge on Titan for earlier. <laughs> Fair. Sorry for hitting you too, <laughs> Remy. I didn't mean to. He's got it. All good. So we got the chest and then the last secret, like Titan was showing. Last secret is up there. Easiest way to get up there if you're having trouble is to jump on the wall on the right and then go to the left. Hmm. 
Stein. Come on, <laughs> man. Oh, that was too good. Why did I right. go invisible? I confused it. I'm turning you invis. Oh, no! I can't do anything. Alright, everybody got the secret? That should be all of them, unless you somehow missed one. So just go to yeah, your triumphs, it. and it should be Pearl of Glass, I think, is what it's called. Where the... Wait, how do I um, find my triumph? There's triumph. Where is it at? It's under Legends. Legends, Legend. Vault of Glass, and then I think it's called Pearl of Glass. European Dreaming, Season, Lifetime, The Moon, Throne, what? Europa, Throne, Legend, Should Legend, Legend. Slayer, God, yeah. I am stupid. Oh yeah, Bitter Pearl. Is what yep, it's it used to be called Chatter White back in the day. And now it's called Bitter Pearl for some reason, so I don't know why they changed the name, but they did for some reason. Well, that increases it. the initial Vex Myth the class drop rate. Oh yeah, I forgot it does that too. So now you have a slightly better chance of getting uh, Vex on your first run. So now everybody's just got to get by the door here, and it'll uh, unlock it for the next encounter. Wouldn't that be nice? Let's see here. Now, heads up here, um, this encounter has uh, overloads, so I'd recommend having uh, some sort of overload weapon on deck. Now, also keep in mind, if you shoot at all, it will start the encounter. And this is probably, I'm not going to say it's a hard encounter, but it's one of the more complicated ones. So, if you got to take your hands off the keyboard, you might want to just take your hands off the keyboard for a second. Um, so, what's going to happen here, essentially, is that um, we need to use the relic to kill some guys that have shields that can only take damage from the relic. Right. Right. And uh, the problem is, those guys are going to spawn on uh, different planets. Now, technically, if you're a lore nerd, they're not different planets. It's all Venus, just a past different Venus. Different times of Venus. Yeah, a past Venus and a future Venus. Uh, I don't care. We're going to call it Mars and Venus. To, to old and new. Uh, so, Mars... I hate you. Is on one side. I believe Mars is left. It's been a while, so forgive me if I'm wrong. I believe Mars is on the left side and Venus is on the right. Um, so what's essentially going to happen is we're going to send uh, basically like one person to each planet. We're going to have two people standing on the plates that are next to the, each planet. So one person on each plate. And then the other two guys are going to kind of assist in passing the relic. Um, so the guys on the plates are on the plates because the... Um, it's uh, the, the portal back to this yeah, world. It, it's, it's the same kind of plates as the very, very beginning of the raid. You remember we we're, were building the construct thing? And we had to stand on the plates. And once it was activated, you could get off. But if a, a minotaur stepped on it... it uh, undid some progress. It's the same kind of thing. So if a Minotaur sits, uh, stands on it for a second, then it will deactivate the portal that we need to have open. And that's pretty bad. Now, the Minotaur that steps on it is also an overload. So if you're a plate guy, you definitely, more than anyone else, you definitely need some overload equipped. Um, but um, besides that... Um, Sorry, I'm trying to collect my thoughts and think of the best way to explain this. So, okay. There are going to be four guys passing the relic around. And then two guys who are just going to be doing plates. Um, 
all you have to do on plates is uh, make sure the plate's activated at all times. So if it gets deactivated, stand on it again. Otherwise, you're just killing adds, and you need to have overload equipped. That's all the plate guys need to do. Uh, also, occasionally a gatekeeper spawns. He's just a hydra. You kill the the big hydra, and you're good. Um, so uh, that's that's plates. Now, while that's happening, right? Plates guys are doing their stuff. Um, we essentially need to drop off the relic at each location because it's going to spawn the shielded guy, which is called a Praetorian. Uh, it's going to spawn the Minotaur randomly on the left side or the right side to start. So Mars or Venus to start. And then um, from then on, it'll go back and forth. So if it was Mars first, then the second one will be Venus. Third one will be Mars. Fourth one will be Venus. Fifth one will be Mars. Sixth one will be Venus. And it, it'll, it'll do six rounds total, basically. Now keep in mind... Um, at the same time as the Minotaur spawning, the Praetorian, the shield guy, whatever you want to call him, at the same time as him spawning, on the opposite planet, there's going to be a big old wyvern. Um, so if either of them sacrifice, or if too many Vex sacrifice to the confluxes in each planet, then uh, we are screwed. Uh, it wipes us. And we don't want that. Now, I will say... Uh, challenge for this is annoying. This encounter is kind of annoying. There are ways around it. I don't really like uh, the ways around it. I, I think this is a ni nice encounter, but it, it just gets a little dicey. Because the the main issue, the main issue uh, here is, like, we need to have the relic on each planet that has a Praetorian. So it might be Mars first, it might be Venus first, and then it'll just bounce back and forth between the two, right? Problem is, uh, if you have the relic equipped and you go through a portal, it will lock you out of going through a portal for the next 40 seconds. And we need to pass the relic faster than that. We need the relic to come back and forth pretty, pretty frequently between the planets. Um, so what that means is we need to do uh, some passing to each other with the relic. So... Um, what essentially is going to happen is there's going to be one guy on each planet at all times, and then two guys who are kind of helping pass, and you just kind of rotate between each other. So someone's going to start with Relic. They're going to go into either Mars or Venus. When they enter Mars or Venus, they're going to kill the Praetorian, then they're going to drop the Relic for the guy who's already in that planet. And then uh, that guy is going to um, take the relic and leave the planet and then he's going to pass it to a guy who's been waiting out here who's going to take it into the next planet and then he's going to drop it for the guy inside the planet and then that guy's going to uh, pick it up and go through the portal again and drop it in here for the guy who's been waiting and it's just going to keep going back and forth basically so it sounds maybe a little yes. annoying but um, yeah it's I do like the differences in the Vex that they did, the early and old models, future models and early models. It it is nice that they actually had, have unique models for these. It's uh, it's interesting how it looks. But, let's uh, attempt and fuck it up. Yeah. Uh, so let's um let's just uh, assign starting positions, and then kind of like with uh, oracles, we'll have starting positions, and then move around based off of that. So, um, who wants to be... Oh, someone started it. Go left, go right. Cool. Um, go right. In right side portal. Okay. Or, I don't know, oh, yeah. I mean... It doesn't so open until one, the gatekeeper dies, right? Yeah. One, one person's gotta, um... One person's gotta grab a uh, relic, and you're just gonna wait to hear what planet to go in first. I'm going in. I'm going in uh, right. Everyone else, I'm... one person goes into each portal right now, not two. Get out of my portal. This is my portal. I mean, I called it, but all right, let's go. Cool. Here, I'll, I'll nah, pick up Relic portal. first. I'll pick up Relic first. Do you want it? I can, you can so, somebody's got to go in left portal. In order to do that, we need to open the portal by standing on that plate. And you tell me, whoever just went into right portal, you tell me if it's your planet with the shield guy or not. 
Gotcha. I haven't seen anything yet. Titan, can you go into the left portal? Yeah, sure. And you tell me if a guy with a white shield spawns. Uh, yeah, I got a dude with a white shield. Not on my I'm side. Dead. I'm coming in, I'm coming Ascendant. in. So you're gonna, you guys are just gonna clear ads? Everybody's just gonna kinda clear ads? Turtle, when I kill this guy, I'm, okay, somebody sacrificed. I'm dropping the relic for you. Yep, take it. You're gonna leave the portal? And okay. you're gonna drop it for whoever isn't doing plates outside, and they're gonna take it into the left portal. Ready, did it. He's going in. Huge. Do I drop it for him, or do I kill the Minotaur? Kill the Minotaur, and then drop okay. it. Yeah. You kill the Minotaur, then drop, yeah. Then he takes... Easy peasy, you know? Here, Titan, yeah. take it out. It's simple uh, rotation. It's not too complicated. Portal. Someone open the portal. Which side do I go? Left or right? Uh, you need to go to the right side. Okay, I need yeah, someone to open it. This portal isn't open yet. It's open now. There we go. Now where do I take Drop it? it? Drop it. Ha okay. Yeah, so my guy just spawned. I get that before the gatekeeper? Yippee, I did. Take him back. I don't want this. Mm hmm. Open gate, please. Open portals. So make sure gatekeeper's dead and then stand on the plates if they're deactivated, guys. Yeah. Now, the challenge for this is annoying because you have to kill the white shield guy, the Praetorian, at the same time as the wyvern. And you have to do that six times. So you have to coordinate with the guy on the opposite planet of you. So it's not impossible. Also, yeah, you guys are not opening this portal. I'm coming. Spooky died. Really need this portal open, guys. I'm trying. This overload guy won't die. Uh, Praetorian's on the thing. He's gonna sack first. Oh, there you go. That. Portal's opening. Yeah, we, we, we lost this Praetorian sacrificer. Yeah, so we, we did start by accident, so let's just take a second. Everybody make sure you got some sort of overload equipped. What is overload? Um, so overload champions. Overload is one of the three types of champions. There's barrier, unstop, overload. Right now, just worry about the overload. Look at your artifact and look at the first column of the artifact. There are champion mm -hmm. mods for weapons. So, oh. either, so equip one of those mods and then equip whatever weapon that is for overload and then yeah, that okay. weapon will stun the overload champion model rifle and stun barrier champions their saddle rifle are always overcharged with model okay yeah i was doing it right cool all right so everybody got their starting positions all set i can yep. grab relic you first want, you want my portal this time debbie no it's cool i like running first it's cool all i right. mean we'll go in either way start. you can start I got relic. So open portals and then go in immediately. Go in, go in, Titan. I'm going. Uh, whoever's right side, go in, hurry. And then just let me know which portal has the Praetorian, the white shield guy. I've got nothing on my side, on old. Uh. Tell me, he should be spawning soon. Yep, he's here on old. On my way. So I'm gonna kill I'm him. Waiting my old portal. And then give it to me, I know. Yeah, easy peasy. All right, pick it up. Going back. Yeah, so we're not gonna bother with challenge for this one. It's not terrible, but it's just a little bit more annoying. Um, Every other challenge in this raid is pretty easy for first timers, but this is the one where it's like, yeah, I just don't want to do this. Are you trying to push him off, Turtle? <laughs> no. <I'm just laughs> yes. Keep him away. Uh, that's a genuine strat. Um, 
I would run that all the time, actually. It's just pushing them off. If you use a blinding nade, uh, grenade launcher, or if you um, freeze them with stasis, you can actually keep them still, and you can push them off pretty easily. Titan. Titan. The relic. I need to pick it up. Where yes, am I going? Into the portal? Go into, into old. Okay. And hurry. Oh, because stand, the guy's on here. stand on it. Stand on it. No, gatekeeper just spawned. Oh, kill him. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. I pushed the guy a little bit, so he should be not sacrificing just yet. Go ahead and kill him, and then drop. There you go. And I'm out. Oh, hello, Wyvern. Praetorian's up on this side. Here, pick up, pick up, there. Relic. Do I, I go through left side now? Uh, just pick up Relic and come out of the portal, and then drop it for me. And I'll pick up. I've got the invincible guy in old. Uh, I'm... I, I need five seconds to go through. Oh, there's a gatekeeper. Yeah, I'm still destabilized for a second. So kill, kill gatekeeper real quick. He's coming to the stairs. He's getting close. I'm coming in. It's okay. Holy hell, it did not spawn me facing the right direction. I'm good though, I got it. Just kill ads. Alright, there we go. I'm dropping it for you. Go in. Okay. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Damn, you jump far with this thing. Mm -hmm. I'm through. It's actually go. some of the fastest movement tech in the game. Outside of uh, Eager Edge, I guess. Yeah, I'd imagine if that was a weapon. Now, I believe we're done, actually. So now Awaken we're Awaken on... the Glass Throne. Yes. Already. He's not here anymore. We yeah, we need to own. leave. Everybody go to the main area. And whoever's got Relic, you're just kind of stuck with it for now. Um, there are going to be you're some pre here. Praetorians. Here, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. I can go through. Yep. Yeah, up there. Up there. No, there, there shouldn't be a timer anymore for you. You can teleport. There is 20 seconds. Oh, damn. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Then. You guys got to go team. Whoa. Yeah, there will be a Praetorian in, on each side, left, right, and middle. Possibly in that order? Can't quite remember. Middle, right, left. Uh, That's what it was just now. And then we know we're done because a bunch of wyverns spawn and we kill them. Again, left, right, middle. What do we do damage from for the boss? Oh wait, that's not right now. Never mind. Boss right. is about to happen soon. Yep. So this is the we just did the second to last encounter. We have one more, and that is Big Boss Man, Atheon. So now you're free to run around as much as you want. There are pl plenty of fun little spots to explore. Uh, just as long as you don't shoot this little box, that will uh, st start the encounter. Um, again, I would say run rockets, same damage as we, we had before. Um, difference being, sorry, yawning, um, difference being that, um, we are going to be doing, um, some mechanics to get there. Uh, I, I actually rather like this boss because he kind of combines a lot of uh, mechanics all in one from throughout the raid. Oh, that makes um, you turn back now? I can't go to the edge. <sighs> unfortunate. You can push past it, though, if you're moving fast enough. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let me just uh, equip something real quick. Maybe a little, that'll be a good one. Alright, yeah, so nap. welcome to the final encounter. Um, 
it's pretty simple but Yo. it's going to sound complicated so um what's going to happen is we're just going to kind of go about our business we're going to be killing stuff like normal boss is going to be immune and we want to unlock boss's health right uh the way we do that is by um randomly getting teleported so he will select half of the team he will select three guardians to get teleported into one of the planets so whatever planet it is is random whatever um guardians he selects is random um so he's going to pick three of us send us to a random planet immediately whoever gets teleported you need to call out whatever planet you get teleported to just so we know because then we're, uh, the guys who don't get teleported, one of them at least, is going to open the portal. Um, and you do that in the same way we just did, where you stand on the plate for a little bit till it unlocks. Luckily, there's not, there aren't any minotaurs, so there's nothing that undoes a portal. And if you want to be safe, you can even open both portals if you feel like it, and just leave it. Um, it's up to you. But... Um, you know, at least open the right portal, uh, whichever the correct portal is. Um, so uh, that th that's the first thing we need to do is just open the portal so that we can make so that the guys who get teleported can make it back. But while they're in there, they need to do some stuff. Um, and what else would they be doing? But some oracles. Uh, or the oracles are coming back, and this time it's a little funny. Because we still have to shoot them in the right order, but there's a, a bit of a difference. So you remember how there would always be two phases of the pattern, and then on the third phase it would be they they would all be shootable, and so we'd have to copy the pattern on the third phase. Uh, this time, the pattern is only shown to the guys who don't get teleported, but then the guys who do get teleported have to do the shooting. If that makes sense. Cringe. So basically, we need to call out whatever uh, the order is for the oracles. Um, once we do that, uh, then the... Uh, let's see. the um, w w Sorry, we need to do that a total of three times. And there will be three oracles for each one. And I think I have a map... Of where all the oracles are in this boss. Let me see if I do. I do not. Well, callouts are like this. We'll, we'll just do it this way. So, everybody come over here real quick. Over by me. Over by Carnome, guys. Oh, I'm getting there. I was way away. Mm hmm. All right, so standing at this perspective, right? Standing at this door, just to clarify everything. Uh, if you stand at this door, you look at the throne, you look at that glowing thing in the center. That side's left side, that side's right side. Pretty simple, right? Um, problem is, when you spawn in on a planet after going through the portal, you spawn, uh, or sorry, not, not when you go through a portal, but when Atheon teleports you, you spawn all the way over there. Um, meaning your orientation is completely different from everybody else uh, who doesn't get teleported. So somebody needs to readjust. And I, I say, and this is what most people seem to do, the moment you get teleported by Atheon, you just run all the way back to the door. Right? Uh, and then you turn around. And you're sitting here, and then you're looking at the oracles in the same orientation. And then the oracles are like this um like that um now here's the thing we're not gonna call by numbers unless you guys really want to i i would say let's just call them far left far right close left close right and then uh far middle close middle that makes sense so those are those are the the call outs for the the oracles right um, or we could do numbers. Actually, I mean, I guess it's up to you guys. Would you rather do numbers for it, or 
does everybody whatever prefer? Feels, whatever feels right in the moment. Honestly. I'm gonna do it. But um, so there's a f there are a few more things. Um, whatever works as far as the callouts go, right? Um, the um. It'll, it'll be three phases of oracles, but each phase only has three oracles in it. And th so that's not terrible. Um, once all three phases are done, w everybody's going to group up outside of the portal that the guys are going to be coming through. Right. We're going to group up. If it's Mars, it's Mar we'll stand on the Mars one, and we're going to do damage from there. And if it's Venus, we're going to stand all the way over here and uh, do damage from here, at the top of the stairs here. And uh, that's how, how that's going to happen. Because uh, the moment the guys shoot the um, the oracles, the last set of oracles, the moment they're all dead, Atheon's shield drops. Even if he's still standing there in his like uh, pose, you'll see what I mean by his pose. Even, even if he's standing there, then he's uh, going to be vulnerable the moment the oracles get shot. Um, so just be ready for that. Um, meaning you can kind of get some early damage in if you're, uh, if you're not teleported, basically. Um, that's, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, when you get teleported, make sure you kill the, um, the Hydra, because I believe he's also a gatekeeper, gate lord or whatever. Um. A lord Falker. Yeah, so you're gonna, you're gonna spawn in. One of you needs to pick up the relic randomly. It doesn't really matter who it is. Just somebody. Because if we leave it there, it's just going to wipe us. Uh, so one of you picks up relic. And all of you are going to run in this direction over to the door. Uh, but you're going to want to kill the gatekeeper on your way. Once he's dead, you just move all the way to the door. And you turn around and you get ready to shoot the oracles. Meanwhile, uh, the guys who don't get teleported, you're going to... Uh, wait wait for the call out of whatever planet they get teleported to. You're going to stand on the plate to open it, and then you're going to watch the oracles and see what the pattern is. You're going to call out the pattern for the guys, and then your job is pretty much done. Um, now, heads up, though. In the main zone, there are going to be supplicants, which um, are not an enemy you see very often in the game. They look like harpies, but their names are supplicants. They move along very fast. Kind of like Gorgons, uh, but they make different noises from Harpies. And they will chase you. And if they get close enough to you, they will explode. So they are the Vex Exploder enemy besides the, the Fanatic. They're a bit different. So do watch I out for them. Block. They will do a uh, decent amount of damage. Oh yeah, jump on the block. Sometimes it'll send you around and glitch you out. Oh god. Oh, yeah. Yep, <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> Yep. Have fun with that. Um, You're going to make me fucking shoot this thing. But um, I'm trying to think of what other things uh, to mention. Uh, oh, if we want to do challenge, challenge is not too bad. Uh, challenge just requires... It's, it's the same challenge, really, as oracles, where you can't shoot the same... Well, okay, actually, it's a bit different. But um, the three people who get teleported... Basically, um, you can't have one person shoot more than one oracle, is how it is. And that's per per set. So, like, the first set, um, you can't have one guy shoot all three of the oracles. You can't have one guy shoot two of the oracles. Everybody has to shoot one, including the guy with relic, which is what makes it a little bit complicated. Because um, you have to drop relic, shoot an oracle, and then pick up relic and all that. Oh, I totally forgot about Relic. Um, with Relic, you have to uh, periodically cleanse your teammates and yourself uh, when you're in the other planets because uh, there will be pervading darkness that just continues on your screen and eventually makes your screen almost entirely pitch black so you can't see anything. So that's uh, Relic's role here is they, they have to occasionally cleanse the team. Um, but yeah, that's, yeah, let's see. there's, Grab there's any, a lot. I, I feel like there's, there, that was a lot of information. Blocks. Grab any blocks you can. Come to me. 
cover. Let's um. Cause like we we'll mess up a couple times, but we'll, I guess we'll just learn it as we go. Yeah. So I'll I'll try to just kind of guide it. Let's just everybody, as long as we all okay. got the flag and stuff, we should be okay. I did not rally, but that's fair. That's fine. It doesn't matter. We're gonna. We'll probably go one at least once. So I'll just kind of guide us through it. Uh, here's another little thing. Uh, all the flying harpies way up in the high, in the sky, there's going to be, I think, five on the left, five on the right. If we kill all of them, they respawn. But if we kill all but one, then they don't respawn. So I would say just leave one on each side, and they just kind of leave us alone. It's just kind of nicer that way. So just leave that last one alive on right. That's and left. left. We got one on Perfect. each, yeah. There we go. Now they just, uh, there will be one guy on each side who, being a little annoying, but that's it. Pretty soon he's going to teleport at random. I'm one of them. So grab relic, grab relic. Okay, what planet? Relic. Venus, which is right side. I got it. So follow me, fellas, follow me. Back right, cl uh, close left, back, uh, close right, sorry. Far right, close left. Far right, close left, and then close right. Oh, I did not see that one, my bad. It'll show the pattern twice, just like always. Uh, back middle, back left, close middle. Back middle, back left. So, uh... A trick to the callouts, you can call out just the first two, and then the third one is just process of elimination, because it only shows okay. three. Back middle, close middle. And then hit left side, and the moment it's dead, damage is ready. Go do damage, go do damage. I'm going to cleanse this when we get outside, guys, so just get close to me and then go do damage with them. Now, there is something called the Tain. Someone's about to get hit by it. It just means you need to get away from the rest of the group, and then I we're going to break see. you out of it. Can't see. Uh, okay, break him out, break him out. I'm still trapped by the Tain. Keep doing damage, boys. Keep doing damage. Someone went through the portal accidentally. Can I get out of the Tain, guys? I need you to shoot it for me. I am. I am in. I cannot see. <laughs> Yeah, I did not do any damage because I got trapped by the guy who got detained. So that was the one thing I didn't explain is detain. I knew I was forgetting something, but that's okay. I'm coming. Turn <laughs> me. Like, slow. Yeah, we lost relic, so whoever got blinded, you're screwed, basically. Just die. Unless you get teleported. Or just die. Remy, if you walk backwards, hang on, stop. Stop moving. Remy, stop. No, literally hold S. I got TP'd. No, stop. Don't look anywhere. Just walk backwards. You're walking backwards. Front middle. Okay, you're going to take like two stops. Front two steps left. Back left. What's, What's the call again? Two steps left. It's, it's a white. What's the call? It's a white. Just, you didn't see Front it? Front middle, okay. back left. No, I saw but I died. Rip, we all died. So what's the deal with getting blinded? What's up? Uh, what's the deal with getting blinded? How do you... So when you're to get in another planet, you're going to perpetually yeah. get blinded more and more. Blinded, yeah. Uh, and the way yeah, you cleanse that I, is I think with missed... Relic. Yeah, I think I missed the cleanse, that's why. Yeah. Okay, cool. okay. Let's do it. Another. We got this. So yeah, uh, detain blinding from relic. Um, I'm gonna assume we're not gonna do challenge because it just adds yeah. another little level of complication yeah. that I don't think we want to deal with. So, so let's do it. <clears throat> yeah, everybody's just kind of got to be ready to do uh, whatever the game wants us to do. If you get yep. teleported, you deal with it. If you don't get teleported, you deal with it. I actually really like that about this encounter because it makes people have to do stuff regardless.
Cool, right side's clean. Looks like left side is too. Got any time streamers going? Come on, big man. Send it. Ow, 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 ow. There you ow. go. He's going to send Bye bye, box. Yep. Sorry, Tom. Your box fell off. I got teleported. I did too. I Somebody grab relic. Somebody grab relic. I got it. So it's going to be left, middle, right for the pattern. I don't even need to tell you close or far. It's just left, middle, right. How do I stop the yeah, blind? What button do I press? Uh, block. Whatever your block is for swords. Fuck, I know. What's the order? Right, left, like, middle, uh, right. Left, middle, right. Left, middle, right. I am I'm blind. Dead. I can't see anything. I'm yeah, he right. fell off the edge with relic, so. Yeah. Yep. I don't have. What the fuck is my block? It might be. Should be C? right. Are you on computer? Is yeah, he is in melee. Yeah. See, I have not changed any controls. I think, it would be I, think C, it, then. I think it starts C or Z. I think it's C though. Okay, yeah, sorry, that was a C. stupid fuck up. I apologize. Oh, you're good. good. I've done like it. Have you got plenty of raid raid banners? <laughs> uh, that was totally my fault. I feel like an idiot. Don't start yet. Yeah. yeah, give it a second. Give it a second. I think someone's. Thank you. Almost done. All right. If I get teleported again, just a heads up. I'm not grabbing relic. I want you guys to. Yep. Get to practice if I'm a it. if I'm a hunter, what do I do to not get blinded? Uh, you so have stay to next to the, the guy relic. with relic and let him cleanse yep. you um, when you get teleported. It's purely the relic's priority to do that. Cleanse your chain. It makes a little white bubble. Well, why is it going to be white, man? <laughs> Are we ready to start? I think so. Turtle, you good? Yeah. Turtle, say nothing. Huh? Okay. Are you back? <laughs> okay, cool. All right, I'm starting it. Let's do it. I'm here. <laughs> we got this, we got this. That's All right, he's open the time stream. Close right, close middle. R right, middle, left, if you want it easy. Right, middle, left. What planet? Old Mars. Right, middle, left. Done. <clears throat> no, sorry, left, right. Close, yeah. left, close, close right. left, close right. Close left, close right. Close left, close right, and then far right. Sick. Done. Left, right. Left, right. Left, right, middle. Left, right, middle. Left, right. Left, right. Get okay, ready for damage. Guardians make their own fate. It's damage. All right, we're Uh, watch detain. It's a uh, Devon. 
Debbie. I'm running it backwards. Yeah, I'm behind you guys. Damn, that is taking forever to shoot. What the hell, dude? Why is it taking so much damage? Am I not doing damage? I'm blind. What is happening there? Oh, where's the relic go? That's it for damage. Alright, we're done. We're done. Yeah, it's gonna be a like just, just kill yourself. Spears? Yep, so just clear uh, out the remaining supplicants. Ooh, I didn't want to waste the Hello. I can't see shit. There we go. Oh, you didn't get cleansed. Yeah, so relic guy, make sure you cleanse one last time when you guys. I'm uh, good now that I'm alive. Yeah, I, I did. I did try to. I think he was just out of it. Yeah. Also, try not to accidentally go through the portal when we're doing damage, because you will yeah. get blinded, and then relic probably won't help be able to help you. So. Yeah. And now we just wait. He's sending people. I'm in. I'm not grabbing relic. Someone else get it? We, we are on Older new. I can grab it. I grab it. New, new. Middle, right. Okay. Far right, close middle. Right middle. Middle right. Wow, okay, we're getting really easy patterns. What the hell? <laughs> he said middle right left. Damage, damage, damage. Okay, if I can actually kill this. Okay, there we go. My bad. I tried to call it early. Different friends. Uh, detain. Who's got it? Mm, I got it. <clears throat> We've almost got him. I'm just gonna do damage. There it is. Easy. Yeah. The bosses nice. are. This is an old raid, so the bosses are easy now. Let's see who's got the exotic. One of you's got it for sure. Oh my god, I got it, what? I didn't. Anyone? I didn't. I, I, no, Debbie I got it. Measure. Debbie got it. Debbie got it? Yeah, I got it. Nice. Like you got to, uh, you got to do a catalyst from buddy. Yeah, we got to do it again to get the catalyst. I, I got gotten so lucky with the raids. I got 1k my first try and this on second. Yeah, um, Titan got, uh, conditional on his first run of Rooter nightmares, so it's crazy. But yeah, that's uh, that's the whole raid, boys. That's the whole shebang. Congratulations right, thank you. on your first thank clear. You very much. Commendations yeah. all around. Anyone want anything in particular? <laughs> Any blue or whatever? Give me a blue. I'll I'll take blue if there's one left. But what, if not, it's cool. What are the using usernames? Devi and Devi. Yeah. Turtle would like a blue. Turtle possible. would also like a blue. And everyone else just gets something random. The way it was meant to be. Awesome, thank you very much for helping with that. Yeah, so the nice thing about very this helped. week, since it's the weekly raid, uh, you can actually farm this um, for the time being, until reset. Um, oh, awesome. Yeah, so you can you can keep doing encounters over and over and keep getting new loot out of it. Uh, meaning, hmm. you can even try for the exotic multiple times if you really want. Um, oh, very good. All you have to do is just keep fighting Atheon over and over. Yeah. It also I can't wait for if you want to do. Um, yeah, Last Wish has got a nice rocket you can craft these days. So. Yeah, cool. that Apex is S tier. It's the best. It's amazing. Yeah. It hasn't been Thanks, guys. So I've got to go. It's pretty good. Yep. GG's, man. I gotta go. Thank you very much. Is. Is Vex you... Mythic class useful anywhere? I have no idea, so I'm wondering. It's a it's a really good like a, like mid tier gun. I I really enjoy it. It's like a nicer auto rifle. Um, Wait, you can go through the portals at free now. Yeah, you can. If you got glimmer in there or some engrams to pick up, you can just run in and stuff. Old Venus. 
at the vaults of glass and the newbie it's crazy just the amount of work they put in for this itty bitty little like the old venus new venus yeah, I mean, it's, it's the Venus. same model. Or... They, they make it look so different in each location. So different that people literally call them the wrong names. <laughs> call them Mars and Venus. instead of Well, and Venus. at the beginning, you got the precursors, which were technically the original Vex, the white yeah, one. Yeah. And then the black ones are old school, and the r torn up, destroyed Venus after the apocalypse hits. It's a lot of nice little touches, you know? You can tell that they, they this was the first raid, so they really cared about like doing everything exactly right. And uh, it's it's nice that they did it. I think they did a really good job of transporting it into Destiny Two, um, off of how it was in uh, in Destiny One. You know, it's a it's an important raid for the game. You know, and I think they did a good job. Hurdle, what the hell were you using for damage? What? Yeah, what what were you like using for damage? Yeah, yeah you, don't worry, don't worry about you that. You did crazy damage. Don't worry about that. He's just running is it the other half now. It's a secret. Don't even know. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a secret, man. He did a warlock golden gun. Mm -hmm. Can't mm -hmm. leak, can't leak, you know? That was fun. I'm dropping off, guys. Thank you. Yeah, GG. But yeah, the... um. If you want to get any of the adept weapons, the way it works for this raid is actually interesting. Uh, the other raids, they, ju they just drop them randomly if you do uh, a challenge on master. But this raid is actually nice. Um, it's a guaranteed uh, weapon for, depending on the encounter. So Atheon is guaranteed has in vengeance, which is the rocket. Uh, the encounter before Atheon is um, the machine gun. Uh, the Confluxes encounter is, I believe, the Scout Rifle. And the encounter after, or, and uh, Oracles, I believe, is the Sniper. Either that or it's the other way around. The Sniper's Confluxes, uh, Oracles, the Scout. And most importantly, if you want a uh, Time Lost Fatebringer, you do a uh, Templar Master Challenge. So I was the only Titan in this group? Jesus. I think you were. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, that's a lot of hunters. Well, okay. There are two warlocks, actually. Too many still, hunters. Though. Too many hunters, still. Yeah. But yeah, so, like, if you want um, a particular gun, just find out what encounter drops what weapon, and then go to uh, the master version of it, and just, you know, find a group on LFG looking to farm it, and just uh, do it. Just do it over and over. And you just do the challenge on master and it drops you a guaranteed time lost the other thing about time lost weapons i guess i, I should say is that um, they also drop guaranteed perks so it actually gives you four perks two of them will always be the same no matter what time lost weapon you have uh for fate bringer the guaranteed perks are uh explosive payload and firefly which was in the god roll in destiny one uh and then the other two perks will just be random so like i've got like I think I've got Killing Wind and Frenzy or something on mine for my other two perks. But it's a, it's a nice system because um, if you do all of the master challenges, it will give you a triumph completion, and then you get found verdict time lost. Um, and that's how you get your first unlocked, and then you can go spend spoils at the final thing and get more rerolls on the uh, the weapon, so. Gotcha. Well, I'm finally up to 1806, and actually I got a exotic engram here. Let's see what I get. Yes. Big money, big money, big money. Let's see what we get. What we get, what we get. Satan's Ramparts. Hmm. Sittins. You yeah. and your allies can shoot through towering barricades. Mm-hmm. It, it had its uh, its time in PvP as being good. They nerfed uh, the health for shields, though, and now it's not as good anymore. All right, I'm and this one again. Fate Bringer I got, yeah. though, explosive GG's. and kill GG's. clip. Oof. Thank you very much for the run. You're very welcome. Peach is everyone good night. See ya.
I'm gonna do a crucible match. I gotta go clear my postmaster, man. Filling up on junk. I did get Praetis Revenge Sniper with no distractions and Firefly. That's alright. Not bad. Yeah. I think it's the only sniper in the game, except there, maybe there's one other, but I think it's one of the only guns, one of the snipers with uh, the ambush scope from Destiny 1. If you ever liked that scope a lot, I always liked that one a lot. That was fun. Brought back good little changes, like you said, but brought back some good memories. Yeah, I think uh, I think the stuff they changed was all like improvements to it. It wasn't anything uh, like annoying or painful or whatever. I think everything they incorporated into it just kind of worked well, you know. Is there even a point for you to do it? <laughs> Not on normal, no. Uh, on master, I could use some rerolls on uh, Hez and Vengeance. I still, I still don't quite have the god roll of that rocket, but that's about it. And even then, that's not super worth it because there are other rocket launchers I could get instead. So, but I get the fulfill fulfillment of uh, helping other people through the raid, and also, I like the raid. I think it's just fun. It's a good one. So if I get the opportunity to help people through it, that's also pretty fun for me. Looks like I need to talk to somebody in the tower. Oh my god, me and this other Titan are rocking around just shoulder charging everyone. <laughs> also, what's up, Krukin? I don't mean to greet you so late. Hello. I was just a little distracted by stuff. Bro, How this primary doing? grenade launcher is disgusting. It's, uh, yeah, a lot of people complain about that gun because it's actually decent. And, you know, people always complain about whatever is meta, myself included. Oh, Alright, I should go to bed soon. I'm gonna drop by the helm and turn in some engrams. But, Fishies? Uh, <laughs> nah, I haven't caught any fish in a bit. I always do that off stream because it's just so boring. Do you even <laughs> get anything good? Like you, you do, and that's the sad part. Is It's a very slow... I mean, you know, it's it's a relaxing thing, but it's just not interesting, you know? I do feel like they might have leaned into the fishing stuff a little too hard. Wait, I can get rid of that. And that. Yeah, like if you catch some like exotic fish and stuff, you can actually get exotic armor pieces. 
So it's not actually too bad. There we go. Is that it? I have all weapon crafting patterns unlocked officially. That is very nice. Damn, this pistol is on another level. <sighs> oh, wow, we made one of them leave. That's sad. Very unfortunate for them. I'm literally doing the sleeping emote right now. GG. That works. <sighs> all right. All right, all right. Uh, I think that's it for me. I'm going to head out. Good night, sweet prince. I had a good time, though. I really do like that raid. It's a good one. Um, if you feel like farming uh, any anything in that raid, like if you want to try doing maybe some stuff on Master, I think you're up to power for it now. So it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I'm down. Bruh. <laughs> we destroyed this team. <laughs> uh, wait, you can shoot in there? I didn't know that. Uh, if you pull out your ghost and then hold fire, it'll fire one shot. But then if you uh, reload and then hold fire, for certain guns, it'll continually let you fire. As long as you reload first. It's very weird, but it works. Mm.
<sighs> anyway, okay, I'm I'm leaving. I'll see you. I'll see you. <laughs> Have a good night. <clears throat> I'm done. I'm tired, man. And I got work tomorrow. Also, my my playlist is just recommending like country music now. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's see. Here we go. We're going to hear um, Simulation Swarm by Big Thief. That'll be our outro song for the night. Um, I'm going to head out. I got to go to bed. I'm sleepy. And I have work in the morning, and it's already kind of late. Um, so we're going to hear Simulation Swarm. It's our outro song for the night. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.